Hello, everyone, and welcome to Random Number Generation. This is episode 46, Metroid Fusion Randomizer with Hercules Benchress. Before we get started, y'all, if you are watching on YouTube, also, hello, everybody on YouTube, uh, come check out our highlights channel by searching GDQ Some of Best Segments on YouTube. From there, you can see highlights of our Hot Vic shows. Very excited for that. Y'all should check that one out. GDQ Hot Vix is looking for more shows. If you're over 18, live in the U.S. and would like to be a showrunner for Games Done Quick, email hotfix at gamesdonequick.com with your idea. You can check out our Twitter for more information and ask questions. Again, that is hotfix at gamesdonequick.com. Join all of the amazing showrunners and Richard with a bi-weekly show. And I didn't write that, by the way. That last line was Richard's. So, uh, yeah, I'm not being mean to Richard, I promise here. <laughs> with that, Herc, how are you doing? It's wonderful to have you here. I'm doing great, Sky. Uh, thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I have never seen a Metroid Fusion randomizer before, and from what I can understand, it's fairly new. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so this randomizer uh, came out, I believe, on Father's Day back in June. Um, and, you know, a lot of people, you kind of think, like, you know, it's such a, line a linear game. How can it, uh, you know, work with a randomizer? We So... Kazuto made a game modification called Sequence Break Fusion that uh, basically allows you to sequence break all throughout the game for the most part, for at least two thirds of it. Um, and using those building blocks, he was able to make the randomizer. Uh, it's not, you know, in it's, its final forms yet. There are still some bugs being worked out. Um, but what Kazuto did was just remove all of the story and the hard-coded event flags uh, to allow it to be more open uh, and allow mm -hmm. items to just be placed anywhere. And when you remove the story and the linearity, this game really opens itself up really well. And you, you kind of see how well it's designed. Um, and it's really designed quite well for a randomizer. Absolutely. So what you're saying, Herc, what you're telling me is if there are bugs that are still present, we're going to uncover those tonight, right? Because it is GDQ Hotfix. That seems like the perfect spot to find bugs in a randomizer. <laughs> well, so for the two seeds that we're doing tonight, uh, I've had them screened by uh, a third, an independent third party to make sure that they were one, beatable, and two, uh, were, you know, didn't have too many spots or, well, not that it's not spicy. These are some very spicy seeds, but, um, you know, there, there's always a chance for a soft lock, but these seeds are beatable 100%. Well, that's good to know, and I assume you'll be saving semi-frequently, too, just in case, you know, just we run case. into a lock of some kind, yeah. All yes. right, well, with that being said, Herc, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm absolutely ready. All right, on your count, let's go. All right, we'll go start it in uh, five, four, three, two, one one go good luck and have fun herc thank you so the first change that we're going to see is that the beginning text uh it's going to tell you the items that you need to complete the randomizer the so there are a few items that you're going to need so main missiles obviously one of them um you're going to have to unlock red doors which is the level four security so you can access the navigation deck uh, on the, like, in the flight command center. Uh, you're going to need plasma beams, so that way you can damage the SAX. And you're going to need charge beams, so that way you can deal damage to the SAX. Um, we're not going to need ice, as you might think. Um, and, it, like, just to get started here, we're going to go and we're just going to do our normal route to the first data room. No plot lines, no triggers that we have to hit or anything like that. We're just going to go right and collect the item. The first item can be either a morph ball, a miss of uh, the main missiles, which is vanilla or the speed booster. Um, and from there, we're going to start building our path. But once we obtain, uh, you know, and some of the items that we're going to need are going to allow us to access certain things. Uh, so red doors are going to require gravity suits and where's my tracker. Ooh, this is going to be super spicy. Uh, morph ball. There we go. So Morph Ball starts, I think, are usually the spiciest of uh, starts. And I, this will probably allow me to show off a few neat little tricks on my way. Um, 
but so to unlock red doors, I'm going to need gravity suit and speed booster. Um, and that's that's really the only requirements to get to there. Uh, bombs are not necessarily needed, so this could be a bombless seed. Who knows? Um, um, but we're going to see as we go along. And feel free to ask questions in chat. I will uh, do my very best to answer as many as the questions as I can. Um, and there are a lot of people in chat that I'm seeing right now that uh, have a lot of randomizer experience that will be able to help out as well. What does spicy mean? Spicy means like... Okay, so you know, like, if you go to Chick-fil-A and you get, like, the, the regular chicken, imagine getting the spicy chicken instead. So, like, a major item that I'm going to need is going to be placed in a location that is either very difficult or very, like, out of the way or on a boss of some sort. So, space jump immediately after Morph Ball is... Ugh. Ooh, okay, so that's an item. As you're gonna see, all the question marks are the major, the major upgrades. Um, and there, there's other upgrades as well with uh, like the regular normal upgrades, the E tanks, the missiles, and the power bombs. The power bombs are gonna be more or less useless, just due to the fact that we can't use them without uh, regular uh, bombs, you know, being present, and without them, uh, the morph. Sorry, not the morph. The <laughs> the main power bomb expansion being acquired. So there, in a future update, hopefully soon, fingers crossed, um, we're going to get the ability to... Oops, don't want that. We'll have the ability to set whether or not we can use them without the main uh, item or not. It's just upon expansion pickup. So as you get, like, if you're used to fusion, um, usually, you know, you go to sector one first, you'll do all those, but I don't have missiles to get through those areas. I don't have speed booster to get through the um first uh, uh stabilizer so i'm gonna go to sector two and open up the blue doors as well as check these items that are uh, along the way there are two the one that i checked already in the kago room and the data room are gonna be two free items uh and once i open these doors i'll have three and four open to me as well for potential checks so there's no cutscene trigger um, because it's a lot of this has been removed. Um, a lot of the, the cutscenes and the like have just been removed just because, you know, they're not needed in the context of randomizer. Um, the story is all but removed for the most part. So we're not going to see like any sort of cutscenes. We're not going to talk to Adam uh, at all. We're not going to do any of the things you would normally see in like a Metroid Fusion speedrun or when you're playing the game casually. Uh, as well as we're not going to encounter any of the SAX, um, you, you know, the SAX encounters. It would just be empty rooms. Ooh. Speed booster. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Where do I want to go? Do I risk going to Sector 1? Hmm, I could go to sector two or uh, three. That is available to me at the moment. What is the riskiest play you could make right now, given what you have? Um, probably sector three. Uh, sector three, the items that it, uh, I could get, there are two. One of them requires a damage run. Uh, the items. So a lot of the damage runs in Fusion aren't particularly, like, that bad. I'm going to go down to Sector 1 and save there, and then go check the items in Sector 3. Um, a lot of the damage runs in, you know, the context of this randomizer are fairly short for the most part. But... Uh, you know, it, it's they are pro like logical damage runs are usually programmed in. I don't know what the settings are for these. These were just seeds that someone said were pretty spicy uh, and that I handed off to a third party to test. So I'm not 100% sure as to whether or not logical damage runs are in the, uh, you know, in logic, but uh, we're going to find out. Yo, so thanks for the deal. There was a remark from chat saying that this rando used to be impossible. Do you know anything about that? That seems like a really interesting story. Yeah, so it's been thought for the longest time that, um, you know, oh, 
um, that a randomizer for Metroid Fusion would be pretty impossible because the... Ah, that's okay. Um, the event flags are hard-coded in the game. So to be able to do it, you would have to, you know, do a lot of work to get around that and as well as potentially make it a little bit more open. But uh, Kazuto found a way. Kazuto was the, the person who made the game mod uh, Sequence Break Fusion, as I said earlier, and... Um... Oh, I did save here. Okay, we're good. Um... And, uh, it, it, I'm not entirely sure all of the goings-on that, uh, he did to, uh, to make it possible, but a lot of the, uh, story is, or all of the story has been removed, and, uh, it, it, that's what allows us to, to kind of do it. So we thought it's been impossible for a while, uh, for the longest time, but, uh, he found a way. Also, um... What I did there is like the only, so we're still in the version 0 0.9. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Um, we're in the, the 0 0.9 uh, version release still. We're still waiting an update. Ho ho we're hoping to get one soon. Um, but the original update for this, or the initial release only has one trick that's programmed and it's for difficulties three, four, and five. Um, and the trick that it that's programmed in is the one we just saw where we have to use speed booster or a shine spark to uh, kill the st first stabilizer uh, just to access progression items. So this is uh, incredibly interesting, especially for the fact that I have power bombs, but I don't have uh, bombs, so I can't use them. This is quite the troll. <laughs> So let's see, there's two items here, and I could risk a lava dive. Ooh, I could risk a lava dive now. Um, especially with the E tanks that I just got. Definitely now with the with the third one. Um so I'm gonna take this damage run here to check this item in the lava. Because it could be progression. It's just another E tank. Still worth it to get it, or especially early on. Um, there might be damage runs where I have to go to Sector 6 without Varia, which would be very dangerous because the blue X deal a lot of damage. And there are a couple items that uh, might require... Actually, I can't go down there. Mm. There are some items that might require a... Uh... Oh. Uh, that the damage run with like the six or seven blue X and a, a vertical shaft. So this is very interesting. Oh, I know where progression is. I almost forgot. It's up at the top of the elevator. Uh, speaking of really interesting here, we do have the developer of the randomizer in chat. So fun fact, only started work on randomizer itself last summer. Uh, a lot of the code for sequence breaking fusion made the randomizer possible. And a lot of the time uh, spent in the previous year was just learning how to make a randomizer in general. So again, uh, that was from Kazero there talking about um, the uh, experience that goes into making a randomizer and how difficult it is. A lot of folks don't realize that. I I think as well. I don't know how much help that he had on the randomizer uh, either. I mean, you know, he obviously he can uh, attest to you know just how many hands were were working on this. But I feel like a lot of the uh, like the updates and stuff like that that we're getting and like communications is just coming you know through Kazuto himself. So I, I get the impression that it was you know mostly done by by Kazuto, but. Uh, you know, I have not seen a, uh, you know, like a credits or, you know, anything like that. As to how many or who. But to anybody and everybody that worked on this, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Agreed. And it's always interesting to hear those stories. You know, this this randomizer was very difficult to make and the why and everything that went into that, including a lot of people underestimate the testing that goes into this because invariably there's always going to be bugs when you make a randomizer of some kind. And there's so much mm -hmm. testing that needs to take place because trust me, if anybody can find something that breaks a game, it's speedrunners. It's uh, funny you mention that because 
we there were some uh, some like beta test seeds uh, leading up to the release that uh, were done, and a lot of it like were it was before there was any real like item weights and stuff like that. So a lot of the seeds were very front loaded um, with like all of the items. Now they're all kind of you know you'll still get some seeds where it'll be spread you know very much like one right after the other, but for the most part they're very much spread out. Um, but like I think it was the first day that the randomizer came out, which was like I'm pretty sure it was like 6 p.m. Eastern time on like Father's Day. <laughs> there was uh, I believe there were reports of some seeds just being unbeatable because of a a room that spawns uh, an item like out of logic that it just didn't account for it. <laughs> and <laughs> at that point we're like, oh, uh, oops. <laughs> We but it, at that point, it, it also became a little fun for me because it, whenever that happened, it would be, okay, can you link the spoiler log? And then it just became like a puzzle. Like, okay, I know that they, you can get this item, but you'd have to do like, what kind of mental gymnastics do you have to go through to get this item? And like, there was one seed I remember, um, I was like, okay, you can technically get this item on in this location, but to get that, you're gonna have to go in this weird route to get to Sector 6 that nobody would ever think to do, then come back, then go get another item, and then go get that item. It's... <laughs> it's a little... It's a little involved sometimes. Like, sometimes they're beatable, and sometimes they're just not. <laughs> The Arachnus special. So, I think we had already answered that earlier from the chat. Is it possible for the randomizer to be impossible to beat? I especially when a randomizer's new, I want to say yes, but these seeds have been, for tonight, have been looked over. They've been proven to be defeated, but I'm sure there are seeds of this out here that might be impossible to beat because th this is in an early stage. Yeah, there are a few, um, but yeah, I wouldn't, especially, you know, especially for a showcase or any sort of marathon uh, setting, uh, and including the tournament that we, we have going on right now that just started as well, um, you know, the seeds will be, you know, vetted for the most part. And I feel like a lot of uh, randomizer communities that are showcasing games and stuff like that, they'll, they'll have a third party. You know, just generally just test to make sure that, you know, you know, nothing too you know, over the top and there's nothing that's going to like break things. But uh, for me, I ask for over the top and <laughs> a challenge. So we'll see what uh, the let's see what the uh, I think Ivan tested these. So let's see what he gave me tonight. But yeah, if you uh, if you guys are enjoying this, I would definitely check out the tournament um, that we have running right now. I've been running myself a little ragged to uh, to make sure everything's been running smoothly for that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and I think we're only in like the th uh, what's today the seventh. So we're only in the like second or third day of uh, tournament matches. So we're very early on in the uh, the tournament itself if uh, you want to check it out. And there's matches that are happening for that constantly. Um, I think it's over, mostly over on Speed Gaming. Um, so if you happen to be watching, definitely give the runners a follow uh, because they're all fantastic runners. And uh, it's, it's just fantastic. It's really brought the community together for sure. Before Vanilla Charge, Sagan, please. trying to do a thing and then blame it on a commentator's curse. I see what's happening here. <laughs> That's all right. I much prefer if uh, Charge Beam was down in Ridley area. It would give me a reason to go visit him. Oops, don't want that. Still can't even use them. Can you unlock the Wave Beam without other beams? You can, and it's awful. The wave beam, Kazuto. I know you're here. I, I, I love that you made the wave beam um, its own thing, but I hate you for it at the same time. 
And if you get solo, if I end up getting solo wave, I think you'll know, you'll understand what I mean. And I know Kazuto knows what I mean. Um, so the way that Metroid Fusion works in general, if you mess around with like the debug menu um, and just give yourself like just wave beam, what'll happen is, is it'll just give you all the other previous upgrades as well. So to get around this, Kazuto had to kind of, I believe he designed them I don't know if he had some help designing them or what the case was, um, but... Oh, I just realized I could have got speed booster. Oh, well. Um, so all the beams that you get, um, they interact differently than they would in vanilla. So instead of giving you all of the previous ones, um, like Wave Beam will just have a, you know, it's, it's something similar to uh, Super Metroid, but... Um, oh, bombs. Yay. Uh, it, it, it's akin to Super Metroid, but like a 10 or a thousand times worse because the, the shot can very clearly hit a block, but just not register contact. It is the most frustrating thing. I just noticed there was a Snorlax behind you, Herc. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's my uh, Snorlax beanbag. Shout out to my amazing fiance for getting that for me for one Christmas. This is uh, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> the Snorlax. <laughs> uh, that is okay. This is awkward. Uh, do I? Ooh. Power, please don't go out. Mm. Oh, what the heck? Um, so that item up there is a major, and to get that one, I technically need to have gravity suit to get it, but if I'm quick enough, I could potentially get it. That's not how you do that. Having charge beam would make this so much easier. I'm going to abstain because I have a feeling the next item above that I'm going to check, which is above this room, uh, will have a major item that will probably help out. It did not. Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate. That, <laughs> that room, nine times out of ten, will have a major, so yay. Also, uh, by the way, uh, you can use the uh, power bombs to destroy the stabilizers. Love known fact. Yo, six months of support. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not my channel. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. I think you're the first person. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yo, Luke. Thanks for the sub, bud. Thank you for the six months of support on the GDQ channel, man. <laughs> All right, well, Sector 1 was a... I mean, it had what I needed. It, it allowed me to get some more progress. Uh, I think it, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go open up green doors in Sector 3, since they're right next uh, to the sector, and uh, proceed from there. I didn't... Did I check the... Uh... I didn't check the item under the floor, actually. I only checked one item when I was here last, because I died. Hmm. Yo, anytime, Paradox. Yo, Paradox, thanks for the seeds, bud. Paradox is actually the one that sent me the seeds that we're using tonight. He's like, yeah, I've got like 10 super spicy seeds, and I'm like, cool, send them over. Well, thanks to Paradox for doing that, because uh, going through seeds is no easy task. And then you have the very difficult decision of, well, how much do I really want to mess with the runner on a GDQ cast? Oh, please mess with me plenty. It's funnier that way. <laughs> and it's more entertaining. All right, I beat this boss. Derp. Sometimes tracking manually is uh, a little difficult to remember sometimes, so if I miss something, just yell at me. And I'll get, make sure it gets checked off. 
Ooh, actually, this is a very interesting opportunity that I can check this item. It's very weird right now for me to have power bombs this early. I have high jump, right? I do. I have space jump, that doesn't matter. All right. I'm gonna check this item. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the tower first to check this item because this item almost burned, well, it did burn me in one of the seeding races for the tournament. Okay, that's very good. Um, let's go in here. Ooh, this is a heated room, so let's hope I can, is there something here that I need? Ooh, there is a thing here that I need, hello. Please be two things. All right, well, one out of two isn't bad. Ooh, that's not really necessary, but it makes my life a lot easier. I'm, I'm digging this. And now just to be a little bit, oh, <laughs> well, no swag for me, I guess. I didn't, that down input did not register. If uh, the down input registered, I would have shine sparked all the way back up this shaft. Uh, to get to the door, but eh, it had other plans for me. We're just going to go this way and fight Box. Thankfully, uh, Box does not spawn unless you have green doors unlocked. So once you have those unlocked, you can kind of come this way and uh, fight Box if you truly want to. Okay, nothing here. Very good. So each missile upgrade uh, will upgrade uh, basically independently of uh, one another. Super missiles give me an, an additional 20 damage. So now, right now, my, my missiles are doing 30. Uh, uh, ice missiles add an additional 10 on top of being the worst missiles to get. Um, and diffusions add an additional five. All right, cool, good fight. <laughs> I hope nobody blinked. Missiles. Boo. Our locks and gates vanilla. They are vanilla, yes. Um, hopefully within the next update or an update uh, soon that we'll have be able to mix the, uh, the security locks in with the item pool. Oh, another thing I should mention um, is that because, uh, so we have super missiles, um, or not super missiles, uh, <laughs> we have power bombs uh, mixed in. And to do that, we a, 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 a minor item has to be removed. So two minor items are removed from the uh, item pool specifically, mainly just because of the fact that you need to have, um, you need to allocate for uh, power bombs and ice beam being in the item pool. Ice beam is its own separate uh, beam that you can pick up as an item. Ooh, do I want to go that way? Um, funnily enough, it's like fully functioning. So I believe that at some point during development for ice beam, they planned on having it being used and then just didn't for i guess lure purposes um and it's it's not actually needed to beat the game because you can you know, the only thing that the game checks for when you're fighting the omega metroid is that you have the orange suit which is given to you by default uh by the sax or the ice core at the very end go down to two Uh, two is a treasure trove of items, especially after you get bombs. So this could be very beneficial for me. Could also be just a huge waste of time. So hopefully it's uh, beneficial and not a waste of time, but only one way to find out. Oops. All right, nothing doing there. I wonder if I should, uh, I should have grabbed those actually. I could potentially fight Natori if I wanted to, but I need more missiles and power bombs for that to be uh, feasible. Uh, yeah, I'll take it, whatever. There is one check that might be needed 
uh, to have a lot of E-Tanks for, so I'll take those E-Tanks. One of them without Varia requires, I believe, seven E-Tanks at a minimum to check. So we're at seven right now, so that E-Tank is technically gettable. Or E-Tank. That, <laughs> that item is considered obtainable at this particular moment. Oops. If you ever see uh, anybody else, you know, like somebody streaming this and, you know, avoiding bosses, a lot of the time, um, you know, it's much more likely you're going to find the item that you need just hanging around than on a boss. So there are going to be times where I potentially may or may not just, I might just skip a boss. But in this context, you know, why not fight every boss? No harm in it. I'll definitely take those. So let's see, I do 30 damage. Uh, I'm doing, that's 900. Uh, um, I do a total of, of at full 1400. So I need to get 600 more damage to fight Notori. Notori has 2000 health and I can only do 1400 at the moment. Another five, that's another, what, 150, I think. Sounds about right, I don't know. <laughs> Why did I leave the ones behind earlier? I wasn't really planning on fighting the Tori very early. Um, so I wasn't really thinking about it. A lot of the time I'll be going through this and I'll just be going like typical, just like, okay, I really, I, I've played this game enough to where you know, I don't really need a whole lot of items. Uh, you know, I've done 0% runs. I've done it on hard, uh, low percent. So, like, I'm just like, okay, I know that I don't need too many E-Tanks. I don't, I know I don't need too many, um, other items. Let me grab those, yeah. It's another 100 damage. So, that's what, 15, 16, 50? 16, 50. Let's save here. There is a setting that uh, puts items behind. It's called major uh, behind the um, bosses. It's called major uh, minor randomization. So what it'll do is it'll shuffle major items in major item locations. Oh, let's visit this uh, recharge station that not many people know about. Um, and E tanks are included in the major items pool, so that way there's more diversity in placing of items. So it's not just, you know, only fighting bosses, um, but bosses are a huge part of it. Speaking of, I mean, this is a location that uh, is in logic for major minor. So now I'm doing 1750. Let's go down to Notori and see what uh, that bad boy has for me. Hopefully it's more missiles and power bombs. Playing both in all bosses mode and possibly a key hunt mode. Ooh. It's the first time hearing that, but that sounds fantastic. That, uh, like I said, that that recharge room, not many people know about it. It's, uh, it's a well-hidden secret within the game. Can I get out of this room? I have high jump and space jump. Yes, I can. Oh, hello. Now I gotta do math all over again, okay? Oh, I haven't been keeping track of my missiles. Uh, how many do I have? <laughs> do I have 50? Uh, I'll do the math while I fight Minotauri. All right, so that did an addition, that adds an additional to, okay, I got 50 and, uh, 50. Oh, 50 missiles is perfect. That, do, that does 2,000 damage exactly. So, uh, uh Notori it is after this. Perfect. Yo, Tetris, thanks for the sub, bud. Did you earnestly do that again, Herc? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's, not it's called being courteous, please. Having I good mean, manners. That's true, but you're the first to do that on any of my shows, at least. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, well, take that. Okay, well, 
Zazabi had another tank. Perfect. So I think the other reason why I do it is I'm just so used to like seeing it like pop up and I just like, oh, yo, thanks. It's just become like a reflex. Oh, that's most folks who stream for sure. Yeah. Are there any more questions, by the way, um, that I might be able to answer? Uh, folks were asking about how to play the randomizer. That's why we have a link to your Twitch where you may be able to explain a little bit better through that. Uh, yeah, go to my, if uh, you follow that, why did I go up? Uh, if you go to the uh, my Twitch channel um, and just type exclamation point rando, um, it'll give you the info that you're looking for. Going to fight this boss without charge beam? How crazy. Oops, stink the missile. So this boss has 2,000 health. Thankfully, by getting ice missiles, it kind of made it more plausible for me to fight this boss um, and not have to get too many extra um, missile packs. Uh, I'm struggling to get doubles for some reason. There we go. That was a double. And you're at plasma. You have more missiles. Uh, <laughs> you and you. And that one. All right, well, dang. What is the average flight speed of an unladen swallow? <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, you didn't specify they had to be Metroid Fusion randomizer questions, to be fair. That, that, that's fair. <laughs> I like the Monty Python reference. <laughs> Is it an African swallow? Or a European swallow? All right. We're almost done with sector two. Treasure trove of items. Eh. Do I make a crazy play? I do, I do. I definitely make a crazy play. I have the means to go there and get out. There's no reason not to go do this for funsies. All right, I'm gonna go fight Yakuza. Because I beat Natori, I'm able to go into, and because I have, I have power bombs, so it's tech this area is technically in logic i would assume because i'm able to access it from the back and front doors ow those key hunters hit like a truck um without the stinger out they do like 80 something and then with the stinger out they do like 147 so an entire e-tank they are ugh. They are, they are like the biggest run enders for a low percent, for sure. Come on, give me gravity suit. E-tank, close enough. I'll take that, I guess. I could jump over it, but not worth the effort. Um, you know, I would really like to find a beam. And a beam upgrade would be kind of nice. Another E-tank, that's okay. <laughs> Got all these missile upgrades and... No beam upgrade. This is incredibly well spaced out. Uh, is that gonna break the? Well, oh, close enough. Uh, hey chat, did I save? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. The good news is, is I uh, don't have to worry too too much because uh, I can just space jump out of here if there's ever an issue. Or if I, like, run out of ammo. Uh, is this gonna put him in phase two? Wow, did not. Feels bad, man. Oh, hello. Uh, that should do it. Okay. Oh, what the? 
Oh, by the way, uh, I've got space jump, so I'm gonna make him go crazy. He can't extend past the top, the height of the room when you're on the floor. <laughs> So unlike uh, his first phase where he can just carry you to the top of the room and then slam you down into the ground, uh, his second phase, he cannot extend past uh, that height of that room because if he did, he would just space jump like to the top of the room and it would just be a problem. All right, B Plasma. All right, well, he didn't hold anything, but it was fun while, <laughs> while it lasted. Let's go check main deck now and get these uh, items out of the way. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh no, there we go. Also, a lot of people have never really seen this room uh, either because usually when you play the game, you never really come back. Um, that's what it looks like without all the vines clogging up the reactor. I guess I could show this off. So, uh, this uh, little key hunter likes to break physics. Oh, wait, come to the middle. There we go. Key hunters are fun. They just kind of fall through platforms as they turn. Uh, uh, down here, please. Major item? I really don't want to pick up any more of those, but that one's kind of uh, unavoidable. So let us see what this far out of the way item is. Please be worth coming to get. Cool. There's a lot of, like, interesting quirks uh, about this game that, like, after playing it for so long, you just kind of come to accept. Um, but there's, they're kind of funny to show off at the same time. That Key Hunter thing is definitely one of them. The other interesting thing that not a lot of people know um, from messing with the debug menu is if you give yourself Screw Attack without Space Jump, you're actually able to single wall jump in the game. Um, so SWJ is actually programmed in, and it's like it's vanilla behavior. So if it uh, arises within the next seed, uh, I can kind of show that off. Dang, there are like no majors. Where are all of the items? This is. What are in you the sure world? there's items in this randomizer, Herc? I swear there are items here. Okay. <laughs> I just need to find them. They're just none of the places that I've looked so far. This is... Usually I'm a lot more, like, loaded. I usually have a suit by now or something. <laughs> I, I usually have a beam by now. <laughs> this is I'm crazy. Little, I'm a little scared about what's going to happen here if you don't find something soon. Can we swear on Twitch? Well, I mean, it depends. All right. No. Four is the smart play. Six is the let's have fun play. Sector six is the I have enough E-tanks. Let's see how this goes. Give me something spicy. Actually, oh. I just wanted to stop and turn around. I did not mean to land on the button. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> is collectively reminding you to save this time, Herc. Ah, uh, yep. I got it. Oh, oh. Well, this was a better play than I thought. <laughs> Uh, Varius suit makes this not a problem right now, so I can just come through here and, uh, you know, at my own leisure and uh, not have to really worry about the blue X. I can just absorb them. Hooray! There goes my fun, exciting play. 
It's still fun and exciting to us, Herc. I'm, you're right, it is. The play would have involved me having to dodge all of these blue X, but at this point it's actually a little safer, so I'll take it. Also, another thing to note is that if I get gravity, I don't inherit the Varia suit properties. So I could have gravity suit without Varia, but I could still be damaged by the blue X. Like, they'll still attack me. Yeah, who's talking bad about the uh, the Varia suit? The Varia suit's fantastic, dude. It's like ketchup and mustard. Who doesn't love ketchup and mustard? It's like that scene in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Oh gosh, sure sure. they got the ketchup and mustard. I want to try something here. So now we know how Herc puts out spicy food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Got it. Ah, oh, that's our first pun. All right, would you say the location of the suit in the randomizer is variable? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I love puns. I, 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 I don't, I don't know how I feel about the coat, like the groan right before it, but I, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. No. Oh. Well. Hey, chat. This is Cheerio Beam. I literally will hit nothing with this. This is awful. And a lot of people will say like, hey, just have the beam go start by going up. It was worse, apparently. At least I can't get soft locked in here. So uh, since I don't have charge, the boss doesn't spawn. Thank you, Kazuto, for making that. Uh, the other unfortunate thing is that uh, I deal less damage with my beam now because when I have wave, it inherits the plasma properties and plasma deals damage per frame. So technically the wave beam does as well now. So it goes from dealing its normal damage amount to 27 damage, which is awful. Well, 27 when fully charged, but still not great. I'm dreading right now finding... Uh, Dread. Ah, it comes out soon. Um, I'm dreading finding a uh, screw attack because that puts Ridley's area in play, and that would be the most unfortunate thing. Okay. Yeah, beam damages are a little bugged. <laughs> Prepare to fight a wave of Cheerios. Yes. I was gonna say, I think chat's a little hungry tonight. Yo, same. I'm glad I ate before uh, I got here. Or else I'd be in trouble. I'd be sitting here starving the whole time talking about food. The common thing that happens during randomizers, really. You kind of lose track of time. And uh, you're like, man, it's been how many hours? Huh, I should probably get up, stretch, and eat. <laughs> and then on the other hand, you're just like, nah. All right, let's do another damage run. Uh, this will probably be an item. We'll see. How does one play Metroid Fusion Rando? Very carefully, Thunder Fizz. Oh, no item, dang. Um, if you want to access the randomizer, I know that uh, GDQ channel is, you know, I'd rather not like have them like put the onus on them. So if you go to my channel, you can find uh, and type exclamation point rando, you can find the link to the randomizer program. Dude, I could just use some cheesy Cheerios. Why not? Ooh, I actually hit the block. I was not expecting to hit that block as I was shooting it.
Um, I do have speed booster, but no gravity suits. So that's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. So if I had a gravity suit, I could just do this sector a completely different way and just go right through the water. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot do that without gravity suit, but I have a feeling that gravity suit's right around the corner. Well, I was hoping gravity suit would be there, but my fortune telling is a little off tonight. Oh, don't do that. Oh. Muscle memory. <laughs> okay, that was just a power bomb tank. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, I'll lower the water. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I'm playing on a GameCube right now. See, look, here's my controller. <laughs> my sweet Game Boy Advance. Um. Uh, I use a flash cart to uh, to get the files on to the uh, cartridge. Game Cube is a legit good uh, Game Boy Advance player. <laughs> Where's your phone? There's a charger in the uh, the bedroom. <laughs> it's a good thing that I went around to uh, to Saris, uh, so that way I didn't have to go all the way to get that item unnecessarily. You're not going to be able to reach. <laughs> Give me a second, okay? We should get you a uh, like one of those like claw grip thingies. Sorry, my my fiance is in here uh, trying to get something off my desk. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> I shot the wrong way. Whoops! Real life RNG. Yup. It happens. You can beat this? Do you want to sit down and try? <laughs> Why? What do you need it for? I just want to take a picture. What? Okay. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Saris had... I don't remember what Saris had, actually. Was it an E-Tank? I think it was an E-Tank. I assume it's an E-Tank. Let me mark off Saris on my, uh, uh, this tracker. Oh, I can check this item and I forgot to. Co-op run. I tried. <laughs> I definitely tried. If she was game, I would have legitimately given her the controller, see what she could do. <laughs> I've had my fiance play uh, Metroid Fusion before, and uh, I, I can say that she did get past the first eye door, so that's, that's an accomplishment there. Seriously? Yes, seriously. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so I've cleared out four, two, one, and six, and three. Uh, I guess I have to go to five. Interesting. So this is, uh, so I should, I'll get the destroyed state of Sector 5, uh, when I unlock yellow doors. Hmm. Interesting. 
So right now the uh, the sector is not going to be destroyed. There are two triggers to trigger the destruction of Sector 5. The first one is having Gravity Suit and Speed Booster. The other trigger is having uh, Varius, or not Varius, it's having Wave Beam, High Jump, and uh, Yellow Doors Unlocked. I get the feeling that I'm going to have to go to uh, the Nightmare area. Unfortunately. To get my uh, gravity suit. This might be a point of no return seed. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> How high is the trolling here? I mean... It's scamming the the it's scamming as hard as I would typically scam, so it's pretty you know, par for the course. This uh, this seed is pretty dang interesting. I can attest to that it's definitely. Sp Ooh, hello. What do we got here? Hey, you two, stop. You need the red decks, but... Ooh, plasma beam. Okay, that's interesting. So I, I need a gravity suit and charge beam um, now at this point so I can get to go mode. That's an interesting spot for that. Oh, God, now my beam's worse. Now my beam's a noodle. So point of no return um, is just, you know, having to basically go into an area where you know that if it doesn't contain the item that you need, you're just soft locked. So I will do, I will make sure that I save prior to uh, heading over to Nightmare. Oh, man, spaghetti beam, why? I need wide beam. Wide beam makes everything better. <laughs> Shooting dragons. I may as well be. It's the, it's the dragon laser. Please be a major. Oh my goodness, please. Okay, it's not. I have more chance. I have a better chance of hitting it with missiles than I ever do with hitting it with that noodle. Case in point, you can see that the beam is clearly going through that block. However, for some reason, <laughs> it's not destroying it or revealing the item. This beam is awful. <laughs> I hate everything that was done to this beam. Wave beam makes everything worse. Oh, and now that we have yellow doors unlocked, the sector is destroyed. Um, to get out, I'm going to have to do some uh, crafty wall jump in here. <laughs> Still just... Oh, come on. Did not grab the ledge like she was... Okay, come on. Did not grab the ledge the first time. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, nice. I'm glad that I found a bug. I did a thing. I contributed. It's doing its best. I don't blame the beam. Like the... What? Why was gravity here? This is so bad. What? What a spot for gravity. That's kind of rude. Game, why you gotta be so rude? All right, wow, I hit just the item, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
he blames the developer. Kazuto, it's your fault. <laughs> why did you make why, why did you make Wave Beam like this? The other thing that Wave Beam does, by the way, that makes it uh, bad is that it's the position of where it's fired is changed. Um, so it makes getting the quick kill at the end of the game that much harder. All right, this should that's easily enough distance. Okay. Oh, I know where I'm going next. Chat thinks this is an amazing seed. What do you think about it so far, Herc? What uh, adjectives would you use to describe this seed? This seed is fantastic. I love it. There's a lot of uh, well, you know, well spaced out items. Um, everything's not really handed to me, and I have to, you know, use creative routing to to kind of, you know, try and find my way around in some areas that I, you know, in normal seeds, you know, you don't really see too often. Is that a yeah? That was a missile. Okay, well. All right, well, we're going to see the space TV. Let's see it. If the item before him, before Nightmare is a uh, charge beam, I'm going to cat burgle and just take it and leave. Oh, it's not, so whatever. You're going to what? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll be like a cat burglar with the item. Um, so... Oh, I just realized this is going to be tough. Um, the, I could clip out of bounds uh, for that item and get back inbound to where I don't fall in to this area. Uh, this is going to be tough. So fun fact, I'm still affected by gravity and uh, my missiles are still affected by the, uh, the, the gravity thing. Uh, mainly because, but that's only, uh, so it only affects the ice missiles. Uh, if you have the missile combination here with supers and ice, if you have diffusion, they are just not affected in any way. Okay, that was perfect. And GG. A flashing warning, by the way. Sorry. Yes, thank you for giving those. It, it hurts my eyes, too, when I'm looking at it on the CRT, and I'm just like, why? I don't know why games do that, honestly. I couldn't tell you. It's awful. All right. Eh. Uh, oh, okay, got it. We did it. We fought the uh, the nightmare. Do I like your movement through this game, Herc. You have a lot of um, good uh, good movement with the controls and whatnot, with the shine sparking and whatnot. Thank you. That's eight eight years of of wasted time. <laughs> <laughs> this is never this is the worst room in the game by the way um it the terrain is awful there's all of these like hermit crabs firing these beams at you and uh that item is like, almost never uh, a relevant item but i still have to check because the seed is mondo levels of spice It's not just spectacular, it's spooktacular. Ooh, it's almost Halloween. Also nightmare. There are a lot of very interesting tricks that you can do with the uh, speed booster. That uh, I mean, speed booster, uh, if you're speed boosting um, and you hit a block, you can destroy blocks. Like, so one of the things that I just did, oops. I forgot to mark yellow. Um, when I fell down, when I had the speed booster, those are bomb blocks. However, um, because I have the speed booster active at the at the uh, the moment of um, when I jumped, I was able to kind of just destroy it. Uh, 
because uh, with the speed booster instead of having to actually lay a bomb. How many times is okay? So that could be used in a lot of different areas of the game, uh, just to kind of progress. So there is a, a trick that you could do um, to get down here, so that way you can access uh this it, the red doors without bombs technically um and just having screw attack by carrying a shine spark all the way down through the the shaft that i fell through and using it uh, using like a, a speed boost jump into the block into the the bomb blocks you would normally have to destroy and it's several different um, stores with the shine spark in like a very short amount of time uh, on like very short ledges and also talking sometimes while also trying to like think about what I'm doing is kind of tough so if I just go if my brain just kind of quits on me halfway through a sentence and I'm just like uh I my brain's not broken. I'm just trying to think as well while I'm executing. That's relatable. It just feels like my brain is broken. But you're doing a great job here. I'm enjoying the run. Considering how spicy things are, you seem to be doing really well on the seed. Thank you. I hope everyone's enjoying this, honestly. This has been my favorite thing for the, since June is to play these seeds. What do we got here? Charge beam. Oh no. Uh, okay. Where have I not been? Oh. Uh, no, this is a... I could go down through sector six, or go through sector six, but this way is more fun. Come on. I did this the other day. Why am I so bad at it now? <laughs> Come on. This isn't, oh wait, because I'm using space jump. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Yup. Yup. Oh, and I shot the door and wave beam, of course. Oh, wait a sec. Oh no. I'm remembering there was an item in sector one that required, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Space doing space jump there makes that uh that shot a lot harder, by the way. Which is why, like, if I, as soon as I stood still, I was able to get it, like, that. Um, which is one of those things, it's just like a muscle memory thing. I'm used to doing it for, uh, when I do, like, secret message, stuff like that. Um, and I don't do the shine spark method of getting all the way up there. But, uh, yeah, standing still it makes it so much easier. The chat is calling for a soft lock. How do you feel about that, Hurst? I don't think I'm able to soft lock at this point. I think with this item set, I don't know if I'm able to actually soft lock. So I, I really hate to disappoint chat, but um, I don't think that's in the cards at the moment. Um, the only way that, well, yeah, I can't think of a. Well, hang on. Actually, that's not true. I could still soft lock. I could do a point of no return. Um, I could go all the way to... Whoops. I could go to Sector 6 and fight Xbox. And then go to Ridley's area that way. Xbox? 
Xbox, yes. The box robot that I fought earlier, but uh, infected by the... Oh, thank goodness. Um, infected by the... Uh, X-Parasite. Couldn't even think of the name, the main enemy of the game for a second there. Whoops. All right, well, the good news is, is I've turned my single noodle into a full pasta dish with wide beam. We do have a I'm question from the it. chat. What do you need to beat the game? Do I need to beat the game? Uh, I need charge beam, plasma, uh, main missiles and red doors and red doors requires gravity suit and speed booster so at a minimum i need charge plasma missiles gravity space uh space speed booster and and technically high jump because in this version uh high jump is high jump or space jump is technically required to activate the sax fight at the end of the uh, at the end of the game or on the navigations deck let's go fight xbox box two the unboxing I should have definitely checked Sector 5, though. There's two items that are probably, like, it. You know what? I'm going to save here, and I'm going to go back to Sector 5 and check those two items that I have yet to check. And if I do end up finding Charge Beam, we'll still go and get Soft Lock, so that way we're... <laughs> I can keep my promise to chat. This way, if uh, I saved in Sector 6, this way, if Sector 5 doesn't have anything, I can just soft reset and load the game uh, back to Sector 6 and save myself a little bit of time. Recharge? No, I think I'm okay. I'm not really in any danger. Will the animals be saved? I don't know. Uh, maybe? I can go save them. Why not? go back up there and save them. Not a big detour. Ow. Okay. Power bombs. And... Ooh, hello. Please be screw attack. Yes, Herc, what's going uh, on? <laughs> why? Well, what's wrong with that? Wait a second. That didn't look like such a bad thing to me. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just not helpful. Wow. Not necessarily. Not necessarily at this point. Uh, this ice beam would have been fantastic with wave beam and getting out of lower sector four when I had to freeze that little um, puffer fish called a, a pow amp. Uh, I could have just freezed it through the block, and that would have been a lot faster, but, uh, <laughs> uh there's not many uses for Ice Beam at the moment, uh, for me. But it does make my beam better, uh, technically, I feel like, uh, with, um, when I fight the SIX, so, and the Omega, so that's, there's that. It's definitely an improvement for Omega Metroid, since it'll allow me to, I'll save again, um... It will allow me to uh, fire more, and it'll get blocked less. So let's go down to the lower part of Sick to Six. I have Varia, right? Yeah, I have Varia. I definitely have Varia. I have to look. I'm pretty sure we made that. puns about that. Yup. And that's what I remembered. Plus, I got a little bit of a refill right there, so that helps. All right, who's ready to cat jam? I mean, I like cats, and I like to jam. <laughs> well, 
uh, until we get a major item, we're gonna be hearing this music forever. This, uh, there's a little bit of a quirk and a music bug uh, in, in the game that uh, it will not stop playing the boss music until the next major upgrade is acquired. Is that a product of the randomizer or a product of the vanilla game, Herc? Uh, there is a glitch in the vanilla game that will do the same thing, but this is mostly a product of the randomizer, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, no music, and now... <laughs> I can't check that item up there, unfortunately. So the vanilla game, it happens like a, like very occasionally, very rarely. In the randomizer, it happens every single time. If this is charge beam in space, this is like extremely cursed. Okay. Okay. All right. If I find... So this is gonna be weird. If I find Charge Beam, I'm gonna have to fight Ridley and hope that he has Screw Attack. Okay. Well, this is not looking good. Also, Frozen Enemy... Frozen Enemy... Come, okay, well, that Frozen Enemy didn't want to work with me. Usually, you can just jump through those. It'll stop once we soft lock in Tori and... Bean, you'd think that. However, I'm fairly certain at this point that, uh, there's, well, there's not many uh, items left to check at this point. So... Well... Oh, wait, the other one that I can check is in sector, there's some in sector three. Oh, right, uh... So the game, uh, t whoa, nice red axe. Um, all right, well, well, time to reset and go down to sector three. I did it, Chad. I got soft locked. Woo! Oh, someone in chat called that quite a few minutes ago, if I remember proper. Uh, yeah. Yep. Listen, they asked me to get soft locked, and I'm a man of the people. Did it for the fans? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you may as well. I mean, there's some solid checks down there. Now I also know that I don't have to go back down there uh, to get an item. Charge Beam cannot be on Ridley. Uh, so thankfully, uh, Charge Beam and Plasma can't be on Ridley. Uh, I would need fully upgraded missiles. Um, I need to hit 100 fully upgraded missiles on Ridley to even kill him without Charge Beam. So that's, you know, cursed. Uh, oh, wait, I just remembered there's an item up here. Oh, no. Please tell me it wasn't this item that I skipped all that long ago. Uh-oh, Herc. Oh, no, don't do yeah. this to me. Yeah, hate to see it happen. No, please, no. I had such good routing in my tournament races on Friday, too, or Sunday, or whenever that was. Okay, good. Woo! -woo. What makes it a soft lock? I can't get out. So I can't go back down uh, through space. And even if I could, when I went in to fight uh, box two, uh, I need screw attack to be able to exit that area. Uh, as well, I need to have screw attack to leave the Ridley area as well. So once I go up into the Ridley area, the only way that I can get out is with wave beam and screw attack. And not having either kind of limits me and it's kind of like, uh, well, I'm kind of stuck. No, unnatural. Thank you for the tier one sub. That's gonna be a thing for the rest of this episode, I have a feeling. Yeah. Listen, you, you laughed at me being uh, very supportive. <laughs> so I will continue to be supportive. Hey, I was the one who reads the PBS saying that hotfix is brought to you by viewers like you. So like, I'm all for being polite, right? 
Oh, Sky, you are like the one of the most polite people I think I know. Aww. You are fantastic. You are fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Definitely I... a model, a model citizen of the uh, speedrunning community. Been telling folks to follow you all day to exclamation point RNG. If you're interested in either Metroid Fusion or her or both, you may want to follow Herc's channel. There's a lot going on there. What else do you stream besides the side of curiosity, Herc? Uh, so there is a game mod that I routed um, called Oil Spill which uh, completely changes. It's a completely different take on Metroid. Uh, it's just completely open. Uh, there are multiple ways to finish. And uh, you can pick up any item that you want and you can have the ability to use it. It's a very interesting run, um, especially the all major upgrades. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um. Sometimes I'll do uh, some Pokemon stuff, like uh, Pokemon Crystal, uh, some Cinco Bingo stuff. <laughs> Fishing, yep, I do. I have been speedrunning uh, Animal Crossing Golden Run, uh, Golden Rod, uh, recently as well. So that's a very chill run. Um, I'll do some occasional blindfolded uh, Stadium 2 as well as uh, Stadium 2 Challenge Cup. And uh, I'll do some like weird challenge stuff with uh, Fusion in general. Uh, I think before, there's a couple times before I played uh, the one-hit KO Metroid Fusion with oven mitts on, which I still need to go back and finish. Uh, and I played, I've been playing through, and I have to finish playing through the vanilla game uh, with my feet. So, yeah, there's a little, there's some oddities, and there's a lot of scams that happen, so... <laughs> Well, I would definitely be interested in Pokemon for future episodes. Maybe we could even get keys running some of that. As for, like, the run you okay. were talking about involving feet, we do have a show for that called Challenger Approaching. I should put you in contact with Ada. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> let, let's just say that the first attempt didn't really go well. Uh -oh. I, got to, I got to Sector 3, which is, like... I think like 20 minutes into the run and it took me four hours. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, as someone who has played on Challenger Approaching, that's nothing ADEF hasn't seen before. I assure you, as someone who played Forbidden Memories on Challenger Approaching, I think that's probably fine, Herc. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the mitten, the ones with the, like the, what are they called? I, I just said the word or the word a second ago. Um, oven mitts. The home of the oven mitts is uh, was actually has been pretty interesting. I kind of I need to return to that for sure. Oh no! Is it really gonna be here? Oh, this is awful. <laughs> Why? Everything Wait. is awful. What's the lore, her? Uh. The lore behind what? The oven mitts? No, 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 no. This you said you couldn't believe something was here. <laughs> uh, so there is this room called Crumble City, where all of the blocks within it are crumble blocks. And, uh, you can, it's only accessible by screw attack, so I think the game wanted me to go get screw attack to access this room so I could find the charge beam. Okay. I did have uh, a question about the oven mitts, though. Have you ever done a run with the oven mitts and then, like, baked something immediately after? And you're like, well, I don't have to take these oven mitts off. Funny you should mention that. Uh, <laughs> I actually had a, I actually had a sub goal at one point uh, <laughs> that we hit, and I have to do it, um, where I'm going to do a baking stream. So I'm trying to, con I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to bake. Um, probably something like, maybe like a Metroid cake or something. Um, but it's gonna be hilarious, because I am awful in the kitchen, especially when it comes to baking. Um, I, I am just... <laughs> it, I'm just, I'm just an accident in the kitchen sometimes. Is your idea um, of baking going to the bakery counter in the grocery store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's me too, I get that. I get that. So I, I, I th maybe this will highlight and underscore um, how just how like awful I am. So one, you know, a couple years ago uh, for my anniversary with my fiance, uh, I was she likes ice cream, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll make some uh, homemade ice cream. 
you know, it, it's just, you know, some milk. Um, I, I can't remember all the ingredients, but it's like sugar, milk, salt. Um, and it's, you know, not that hard. And it's like vanilla extract. And I'm like, okay. And I'm reading the ingredients. And I read it and I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Okay. Um, I, I think it was three quarters of a tablespoon. Um, or a tea, three quarters teaspoon. Uh, that I misread is three quarters cup, three quarters of a cup, and um, let, let's just say that I used way too much vanilla extract. Oh, <laughs> I used like an entire bottle, and I'm like, man, this doesn't feel right. But I just, I was like, this is what the the instructions are. What compelled and, uh, you to think that an entire bottle was necessary? Uh, you know, I, 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 I even when I was doing it, I'm like, this feels wrong but I didn't stop myself. Oh, no. So, like, I'm like, this is what the instructions call for. I'm not going to argue with instructions. So, like, imagine that, but, like, I'm going to be baking something. Uh, it's not going to... It's going to be interesting. <laughs> well, now, on the new Baking Mishaps with Skybills on the new next GDQ hotfix show, we have her using a whole bottle of vanilla to try to make something that uh, it tastes was, palatable. It was an accident! <laughs> it was an accident! Uh, I can see I, it now. It, the, the great speedrunning bake-off. <laughs> the ice cream didn't even freeze. Oh my gosh, her. It, there was that much in there, and I'm like, huh? This isn't right. <laughs> I like, I like, even I'm just like, it, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to do it because it's a nice gesture and she'll appreciate it. Aww. I felt so bad because it tasted awful. It was an expensive mistake. Aww. Ooh, actually, it's I have screw attack. So can... Yeah, I have screw attack, so I can take the alternate path. Um, Kazuto decided, hasn't fixed this yet, um, but, like, this is definitely not the way you want to go. Keep your eye on the timer for when the, uh, the door transitions. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's good. Look at that M. Oh, right. Sadly, I've, uh, skipped Arachnus and come back to fight him during escape. It does not, Arachnus is not spawned in during escape. Much to my uh, displeasure, because I would have liked an additional fight be before going to fight Omega. Wait, are you gonna fight something with this timer on? I, you know, I would like to. Hopefully, I can. <laughs> the other M. Oh no! <laughs> Another sub goal. I actually have to speed run that game. Much to my displeasure. There are animals that you can save in this game. Oh, I forgot! No! <laughs> are you gonna leave the an- Herc, you can't leave the animals behind. I forgot! <laughs> Yo, Herc just killed that the animals so for no reason. For no reason, not even for charity. Herc just killed the animals for no good reason. Oh, I, I said I'd do it and I just forgot. Oh, no. Uh, there's always next. There's always the next run. Hey, I got this front lock. Oh, no, I didn't. I spoke too soon. There we go. That's better. All right. Can't leave him behind. Looks longingly at door, turns around, looks at ship. Uh... All right, time's Thanks. coming up and time. All right, Don't worry, like animals. A... We'll save you, maybe. A maybe you'll survive the landing. There. I can't believe you left the animals behind. I'm judging you. That's okay. Yeah, we left the animals <laughs> behind. Let's celebrate. Doot, doot. No, no. You I'm left so them sorry, behind. Chad. I'm so sorry. Uh, Why? Oh. Oops. Uh, it's spam. It, you just hit the button as fast as you can. 
I am going to go out on a limb and assume that diffusion missiles were either on Ridley or Megacore. Both bosses I could not fight um, until I had charge beam. Also, everybody get your GGs out for Herc. There will be another seed for... Th so for those of you who wanted a chance for Herc to save the animals again, given that Herc doesn't forget... There I'm sure. Is there's another seed after this. Y'all can give Herc a hard time over the duration of that because nobody should leave the animals behind. Unless it's yeah. for charity. Unless it's for charity. Yeah, right? Hmm? That's fair. So, um, anything you want to say, Herc, before we go to break? Yeah, this seed was cursed. Making me go down to lower sector three, fight Gary, and then go all the way up to Crumble City just to get Charge Beam. That is super out of the way, but this seed was super spicy and I loved it and this was fantastic. Hopefully we get a chance to see what a non-cursed seed looks like. That would be a nice second seed for Herc after a seed like that. You know, we might see it. I don't know. It seems like my generator only churns out uh, cursed seeds. Herc, those are the animals you left behind, right there. Yeah. That, that they were. That they were. Aww. And um, you know what? I don't feel bad about it. Wow. Honestly, they made it. They made it, see? They were on the ship the whole time. I, I saved them. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go to break, but real quick, remember that Random Number Generation and GDQ Hot Fix is brought to you by viewers like you. Your subs, gift subs, Amazon Prime subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support our weekly Hot Fix content. Thank you so much for supporting our shows, as Herc has thanked every single person who's helped to support our show throughout. I appreciate that. If you're watching on YouTube, come check out our Highlights channel by searching GDQ Some of Best Segments on YouTube. From there, you can see highlights of our Hot Fix shows, GDQ GDQ Hotfix is looking for more shows and not related, related to the uh, Bake Off that I was talking about. That was just a fictitious show. If you're over 18, live in the US, and would like to be a showrunner for Games Done Quick, if you would like to do what I do, email hotfix at gamesdonequick.com with your idea. You can check out Twitter for more information and ask questions. Again, that is hotfix at gamesdonequick.com. Join all of our amazing showrunners and Richard with a bi-weekly show. I have to read that. Richard gave that to me. I'm sorry, Richard. I love you. I don't know why you'd want to rip on yourself like that, but it is what it is there. So with that, everyone, get up and stretch, and we'll be right back with another scene on Hercules Bench Press on Random Number Generation. Welcome back to Random Number Generation. I am joined here with Hercules Bentress, and this is Metroid Fusion seed number two, and hopefully a less cursed seed this time around. Herc, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Did you bake something on the break, Herc? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to be able to let go of that. That's a super fun story. <laughs> on your count, Herc, go for it. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go in five, four, Three, two, one, go. Good luck and have fun, Herc. Thank you. Though, to be fair, I did have a uh, little bit of dinner left. Uh, it was like a chicken bake or something like that. It's like chicken cheese and something else in there um, <laughs> that I had a bite of. So <laughs> just a little bit of a bite, I'm getting a little peckish. Um, Yo, welcome back, everybody. Um, for anybody that wasn't here at the start of the first one, um, necessary items that beat this are missiles, charge beam, plasma, and red doors. And the start of the seed, we're just going to go and get our first item on the main deck. Uh, the, you know, the first item is always going to be this one, and it could be one of three things, Morph Ball, uh, the main missiles, or uh, Speed Booster. Uh, last time we got Morph Balls, and Morph Ball starts, I feel like, are always the spiciest seeds, um, just because the routing is just so different. Yo, Marbles, thanks for the continued support. Um... And the, the Morph Ball start last time did not at all disappoint with the spice factor. 
So with this one, we've got uh, a little bit more of a vanilla start to this one, main missiles. So we're going to be uh, kind of forced to go down a uh, path here, and we're going to go and fight Arachnus. So vanilla location for missiles, and uh, we're going to be forced to go fight Arachnus, which is... So we're going to be a little bit on the vanilla path to start the uh, this seed, but that's fine. We get five checks uh, coming up here, so this will be good. Uh, so the other things that you need to get to uh, Sector 4, uh, you're going to need Gravity Suit and Speed Booster. Uh, you're also going to need to get a way out, so Screw Attack with Space Jump. There's my Morph Ball. Um, or Screw Attack in general to get out through the Screw Attack blocks. Diffusion, Ice Missiles, or a Wave and Ice Beam. I'll grab this because damage runs are probably on. Let's see what kind of spice we have. Yeah. Well, that was a double. Let me just do it again for good measure. <laughs> Is this even randomized? I don't know. That E-Tank isn't randomized. Let's see if there's another one. There's probably like the land of five E-Tanks. <laughs> yup. Dude, Arachnus will have the Arachnus special, which is a fighting Arachnus just to get an E-Tank. I feel like nine times out of ten, he gives it uh, an E-Tank, so I'm not going to be too surprised here in a second when he just gives me a health refill. Once he fires the, once he shoots the fire and like spits that hot fire, um, he it, damaging him again will make him uh, roll up into a ball. There we go. Oops, I did not get the double there. Whoops. I'll just get it right here. And <laughs> yo, it's the Arachnus special. Nice. Yo, what's up, Kirby? I am indeed a nerd. Yo, Tharkis, thanks for scamming eight months, bud. All right, so I feel like, they, so there's a couple different ways that I could do this. I think the game is gonna try and at this point point me towards going to sector one and encourage me to go to sector one with missiles. But I could also just go to Sector 2 and just go, meh. Let's see what we can get here. More E-Tanks? More E-Tanks. I am comfortable with what I have, and I will move on. Yo, France, thanks for the 35 months of support. What do we got here? Another E-Tank. I think this is just Captain Crunch's Oops All E-Tanks. What the heck? I can show off the Kago jump, actually. Let's go do that. Let's just go for swag. We're going to do it for the swag, chat. So there are a few sequence breaks in this game uh, that you can do, like, out of order. So hopefully this item is a major item, because um, if it is, then doing this will be worth it. If not, this will just make me look like a fool. Aha, it'll be worth it. All right, so this will be... Oh, dang it. Come on. Wall jump, please. There we go. Got it. Wide beam. That was absolutely worth it. Uh, so doing that and turning around is, like, frame perfect. And it's also, like, very much out of sequence. I wonder if I could show off uh, going out of bounds. I haven't pr I haven't done this in a while, especially with the tournament going on. But I could, could potentially uh, unlock green doors without um, bombs. Assuming that I get speed booster and high jump. But we'll see what kind of items that we're given here. Yo, it's JRP. When are we racing? JRP, I don't know. What's your schedule look like, bud? You want you want to like race like right now or <laughs> Yeah. 
out of bounds cheating. I know, right? What a cheater. How dare I? I'm just a filthy cheetah. All right. Big money. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. Okay. You know what? I welcome upgraded missiles. That's fantastic to me. I have no way of getting out of lower sector two, so I will just leave. It's breakfast time. Yo, what are you having for breakfast there, bud? You mean after this soft lock? Povo, please. When Noops All E tanks make a good breakfast cereal? It does, yeah. Oops All E. It's like alphabet soup, but only the letter E, and it's with milk. But then again, cereal is just soup anyway, so. Oh, we're gonna get back into that. You're lucky Oss not here, Herc. Go get off. Go get off. I want to have this conversation. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get it. I won't be able to get him away from his streaming setup, but I'll ask him about that later. <laughs> Listen, if you if you have cereal and you, you add milk, it's just soup. I don't know. Listen, I listen. I don't. I just follow the rules. I don't write them. That in my. <laughs> cereal is a salad. Milk is the dressing. I like that. Depends on the cereal, but yes. Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and again, everybody's hungry suddenly again. <laughs> Yo, I've got a chicken bake. I'm okay. I, I actually have a way to sustain my uh, my hunger now. If, I, if it, it comes. What's a chicken bake? I don't know. I was at Costco getting new tires, and uh, I was like, I got to eat before uh, I rush home to get ready. So... Uh, we stopped and they sell food there and uh it's like chicken and cheese and like i think like ranch dressing or something all like baked into a little like roll or something it's pretty dang good wow oh you know what i'll grab this <laughs> someone in chat said hurt be like hot dogs or sandwiches <laughs> Uh, hot dogs are actually tacos. I was gonna say, those are tacos, I'm pretty sure. Don't get me started on that that commercial where it's like, is it a taco or a, ta a sandwich taco? Like, no. Taco Bell, please. Tacos they knew are what not they doing. Oh, they absolutely know what they're doing, and it's an age old debate at this point where it's just like, is it a taco or a sandwich? Especially with hot dogs. They should come, honestly, Taco Bell, if, the, if anybody from Taco Bell Marketing is listening, just sell a hot dog and call it like the, the, the all beef taco or the all pork taco or something. It's so easy and it's just a hot dog that you're selling. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, here comes the Pop-Tarts or ravioli from chat. Oh, what? What do you mean Pop-Tarts or raviolis? <laughs> that's where I put my foot down. <laughs> it's there's no way. It's not ravioli. It's lasagna. Or if anything, a stuffed crust. Or when you put it that way. How good is stuffed crust pizza, though? It's really good. I mean, I gotta be in a mood, mind you, but it is really good. Yeah. Euros are raviolis. That's another take from the chat. Euros are raviolis? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can get behind that one. Hot pockets are calzones. You know what? I, I actually do agree with that one. Hot pockets are indeed calzones. 100%. Yeah. Ow. Lasagna is the type of cake. Yep, yep, that's another pretty accurate one. <laughs> What's a type of cake? Lasagna. Lasagna? 
Oh, absolutely. With all those <laughs> layers, how could it not be? I'm very sorry if you're watching either live here on Twitch or on YouTube and you're getting hungry. I am not responsible for this. If you have a fridge, I mean, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> you could get like a little snack. We just had an intermission. I just want you all to respect that the skill that Herc has, we're having this discussion about food and Herc's just going through all this like it's no big deal. And this is not an easy game at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is muscle memory at this point. <laughs> I love being able to like get like decently good at a game to the point where I can just like goof around while uh, playing it. And it's just like my fingers, like I feel like a pianist. Like my fingers are just making magic. By the way, y'all, Herc is known for having good conversations while gaming because it, it isn't always just about the gaming. It is about the atmosphere, right? Oh, absolutely. It's all about making sure everybody has a good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pizza's just bread with ketchup. No, no, where are these? We have a non-cursed scene and now, we have, and now we have cursed takes in chat. We can't get all away right, from the curse. Oh Listen, my God. If you drizzle, if you drizzle your uh, ketchup over your French fries, I'm sorry, but like no, just no. No, you, you dip it and like dip it. Like a little plate or something next to it. Yeah. Why would you dri like? I don't understand drizzling it. Then you just get your your fingers all messy. Yeah. Those are people who eat French fries with a fork, though, right? Like I've seen. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Don't even get me started with people from Europe because they use mayonnaise instead of ketchup. And isn't it Canada too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Probably like French Canada, I would assume. Like I have um, ketchup I potato chips. I feel like it's a French thing. I'm not sure though. I have literally no authority to speak on this, on this topic, but I think <laughs> it's like something of like a European connection. Ketchup is a type of soup. I, I don't know what kind of ketchup y'all are eating. I, I don't see ketchup as a soup. You mean like Chef Boyardee ketchup? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking when we were talking about eating fries with a fork. Poutine was the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. Poutine's good. Screw attack. Oh, the game is wide open. Nice. Oh, actually, this may, this affords me the ability to do the thing that I wanted to do last time, and that is single wall jump. Whee! If you make your own mayonnaise, it changes the game, really. Okay, that is that is interesting to think about. If you make your own mayo, it's probably healthier too. I like spicy mayo, but it's got to be done exactly right. I feel that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't actively seek mayonnaise. Ooh, ice missiles. My missiles went from fantastic to useless very quickly. Ooh. Looks like this is a much <laughs> better seed this time around, Hurt. This one looks a little more agreeable. <laughs> Why would it not angle down? What the heck was going on there? I was holding down left. You tell me. I can't see the controller. Fair. Um, oh, you know what? I'll just jump up this wall. Oh, ice beam. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Oh, wait up. You know what? I will delay the announcement so as to not spoil uh, spoil it for you, uh, Sky. Wait, what? Are you seeing it like both at the same time as I'm getting these items or kind of, is there a delay? I, I'm seeing you in pretty much real time here. That's why I'm oh, trying okay. to not spoil for the rest of the chat. That's fair. Yeah, gotta be careful. Yeah. This seed was uh, really good. I can't, I'm sad that I just got that item because that's unfortunate in like so many levels because now I can't single wall jump and now I, it's awful because I don't have high jump. Boo. Um. Hold on, let me think. Um. What are you think, trying to think of here, Herc? If uh, I do this, will I be trapped? Yes, is the answer. 
Do you have a save point? I have not saved recently. Okay, well, you might want to save, and that's something that I've noticed our audience is very eager to remind you if uh, you saved or not. So I'm going to remind there. you also. I appreciate that because, like, if I save somewhere that I, or if I go some venture into a location and I did not save and I cannot get out, that could be bad news bears. Yeah, yeah. So, so be sure to save. Uh, yeah, I will do that. See, I was gonna go into sector five because there are a few item checks that I could make, but the problem is without having green doors unlocked, it uh, limits my ability somewhat. Um, just do. Uh, strictly to the fact that I would not be able to get out. Going into an undestroyed room uh, from the destroyed room state and re-entering will reset the destroyed state if I don't have the qualifications met. So without having gravity suit and entering a room that's not destroyed from a destroyed room and then re-entering the destroyed room, it'll just be um, fixed. So I will not be able to get out of that area because I do not have green doors unlocked. Did I do everything up there? I did. Mm. Well, there's only one spot for me to go, really. I wonder if I could pull this off. Mm. Thinking emoji. I mean, you could save and then try. I mean, seems That's like the gonna... seat's really forgiving compared to the last one, so you probably have time, Herc. Yeah. Let's see. Let us venture. Okay. Please don't unfreeze. Just made it. All right, cool. I did it. Nice. I could wall jump all the way up. That would take a lot of time, though. Oh, gosh. Uh, hmm. Okay. Does this change anything? Well, that changes the game. We have fully upgraded missiles, so that's something that I have going for me. I don't have, oh, I do have space jump, don't I? Uh, do I have space jump? Oh god, uh-oh. Uh, this is bad. I don't have, uh-oh. Uh do I have charge beam? I do not. Um, do I have space jump? I think I do. I just didn't mark it. I did. Okay. Um, let's see. Like you said, you're not used to tracking at the same time, though, so that's understandable. You're doing a great job, though, for all the multitasking that you're doing here, Herc. I'm impressed. I mean, I am kind of used to tracking. But, uh, oh, well, that's a soft lock. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's a soft lock. Okay, hang on. I could try that again. Hopefully I got... I can get those extra missiles. This is, like, a dumb play. Yeah, Yo, you know what? Nexit, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're absolutely right. And it's one of those things where I'm like, huh, well, this stinks. Mmm. Mm-mm. Cool. Um. I probably did not freeze that, did I? I did not. Okay. Yeah. 
Try this again. You got this. This is like super precise. This is very precise. I'm surprised I got it the first time, honestly. Hmm. Not having high jump really makes this a little bit more difficult too. Hmm. Well, this is probably not gonna happen again. <laughs> No, come on. All right, give this another try or two. Like you said, this has been like a super forgiving seed, so oh, it's not yeah. like this is... You got plenty of time, Herb. Don't worry about that. This is probably too late. Uh, just reset the room. Yeah, screw attack does kill that, but I cannot activate screw attack underwater unless I have gravity suit. Uh, that's not the right angle that I hit it before. So I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to freeze that Kago before a yellow X uh, that spawns in when I... It's the yellow X that spawns in as the screen uh, just kind of scrolls. So I'm trying to uh, get the freeze on it before it does it, and it did not. Okay. All right, fine. So much for that spicy play. I still need bombs, though. Hey, I'd rather see you attempt spicy plays here than not. You know, this isn't Mercy Kill. I love seeing spicy plays here on RNG. Let's give it another go, then. We've got 15 missiles. Why not? Come on, Herc. I believe in you. There's at least one of us that believes. I'm sure there's at least one other person in this chat that believes in you. Maybe. Oh, that didn't even work. You have no chance. <laughs> what am I doing there? Uh, okay. Having high jump makes this a little easier to get. That's not even close. I'm trying to get it further to the right, so what I'm trying to do is get hit off of this uh, and be bounced upwards to the right off of the damage boost, but I'm kind of struggling. Hmm. It's not gonna reach. Yeah, it did not reach, unfortunate. Okay, let me just grab this first before we go back. Yeah, next time I should have just uh, realized, hey, I've got Ice Beam. That's on me. That's one of those things where you just don't even think about it. It's just you're so, like, not used to having to, like, think with, like, oh, I've got this item um, kind of uh, deal. It's just like, oh, yeah, well, I'm stuck because uh, X, Y, Z. That I don't think worked. Yeah, no. I need to hit, like, there, in the middle, like, in that corner. That's, yeah, I need to chart, yeah, I, ugh. This is, like, up there when it comes to, uh, like, tricky things to get. I appreciate you trying this. This is really interesting to watch, Herc. I don't think that... Yeah, it definitely didn't work. The thing is, like, you've got to do it off... screen. Like, it's off screen, not formed. And, like, it forms as the screen scrolls. So it's just like, uh... Nah. Red X, please? Nope. Well, I'm probably going to die here. So this will be interesting. <laughs> I 
I just welcomed it at that point. Uh, yeah, I can't say I blame you. That's a really tough spot to be in. Yeah, it's tough. Um, I have space jump, don't I? That's kind of lame. All right, well, there's one spot that I can go check. Unfortunately, it's a tough... Uh, t like, I, I just wish I'd re realized or waited a second before I reset. I think her deserves a follow for giving that a really awesome pair of attempts there again. That's twitch.tv slash Hercules Bench Press, all one word. Please go give her some love. I can't wait for Sector 6 to have all of the items that I need. Can I hit the Kago with Ice Beam? It doesn't really work. It doesn't reach. It's too far off screen. So like, I'm trying to scroll the screen, like, out, yep, there it is. Uh, I'm trying to scroll the screen to, unless this is a high jump, then maybe it's possible again, but I'm trying to scroll the screen just enough to where, um, whoops. I, um, I hit the missile far enough to the right and the screen starts to scroll and I can freeze the Kago before the X gets to it and uh, extends it. Okay. <laughs> How do you spell it? Good question. What in the world is this? go back i mean i'm tempted i'm like legitimately tempted to to get it because i think i could get it with wave oh i can't even do this what am i doing i don't i don't have the necessary items i mean other folks in the audience myself included would have never known that had you not said that her yeah. Hmm. Interesting. What in the world does it want? No. Is that? Oh, this is a much more interesting play. You know what? We can forget about the Kago for a second. This is a much more interesting play. If the seed is actually forcing this, this is ridiculous. Uh, hmm. So this will be interesting. So I'm going to, uh, <laughs> with Wave Beam, uh, it's kind of forcing me to go down to check Ridley's Lair, which is Bizarro Town. That doesn't sound particularly appetizing. That actually seems frightening to go down to Ridley's Lair. This seems soon for that? Yeah, yeah, well, it's a little early, uh, so this is kind of cursed, but whatever. It's either that or I'm just going to have to just risk and go through Sector 5 through Sector 3 and uh, go to Nightmare's area. I have a feeling Herc will be given a little chit-chat with Paradox about what spicy means in the scope of a GDQ run. This is pretty spicy. I like. I don't have to fight Ridley, thankfully. But, I mean, I still have to go down there. All right, here we go. I do have the fusion as well, so this is definitely like if it within uh, in logic. So what do we think, chat is going to be down here? Will it be gravity suit? high jump or nothing I can't kill that 
So this is an item that I can't check. Cool. Gosh dang it. Well, the only item that I can check is right here. I'm just gonna shoot this because it's definitely something. <laughs> Bet. Hey, chat, when did I save? It's been a little while, hasn't it? I really hope not. Okay. <laughs> I got my wave beam. What is this seed, dude? What is this? This is like Mondo Curse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck, dude? This seed, like, I I'm literally thinking like, okay, what is, uh, what do I even do? Oh, there's a scam train? Dang. I missed my opportunity. Oh, I don't have power bombs. <laughs> Wait, why did I come down here? What am I doing? I, nah, whatever. I can't go that way. I went the wrong way. I wanted to go to sector five and I just went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I can go unlock green doors technically, I guess, or not green, uh, red. Technically. What in the world is this seed, though? I think this is the play. Uh, before I do that, check the data room. Missiles, I think. Yup. Well, <laughs> this seed broke. I don't think so. I could go to sector three through the um. Oh no! You just wow. reminded me that going to sector three is <laughs> is possible. Uh, to where the uh... speed booster, right? I hope so. Either way, I'll be able to unlock, uh, oh, I don't have bombs. This will be awkward. I saved, right? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Well. That's another realization. Oh yeah, I don't have bombs. All right, to sector three we go. Oh my goodness, thank god this is not a tournament seed. I'd just be sitting there like, uh, <laughs> what? All right, here we go. There's bombs. What? Okay. Why? Yes. Uh, goodness me. This is, like, even spicier. I need to fu What did Ivan say about this seed? Ivan. We're gonna have to have a talk here. Yep. Someone saying this seed is broken made me immediately think of- Oh, what, huh? Huh? What? So I have to actually go back to the Ridley area now? That's really dumb. <laughs> that is so oh my gosh all right well i'm going back i am going back
I can actually get those items now. <laughs> He goes, this is the description that I got, I think, of this seed that I'm doing right now. Or, wait, is this that one? Mm, yes. Yes, it is. The description is, finish this last one. This one is pretty good. Most likely better than your average, uh, average seed. Oh, yeah, huh? The average, huh? I have questions about the word better and average in that sentence. Yeah, you're not the only one. This is, um... Erk, huh. save, by the way. That's in chat. Save. Uh, there's a save room right here. I'm on my way. I never save. You're not wrong. What if Ridley has gravity? And he just like played it off as like, oh, this is better than your average seed when it's like the, the spiciest thing he could have possibly given me. <laughs> your favorite side-scrolling Metroid. Yeah. Yo. Thank you for the 23 months of support, bud. Yo, I am a nerd. Yo, thanks, Chaka Moose. Appreciate that. So, there, as you can tell, there's a lot of, like, different routing choices <laughs> that you can, uh that you can pick from. And when I said earlier, uh, this game is designed very well for randomizer, um, like the layout of it, I was not kidding. This layout really kind of lends itself to uh, randomizers. Also, uh, the last in the last time that I was in this room, I kind of uh, would fire a missile and turn around. The game only checks to make sure that you're facing the same direction as the Golden Pirate. Um, you don't actually have to hit it in the back their kind of check for it was, hey, are you facing the same way? You are? Great. We will take damage. Oh my goodness. All right, well, now we've got power bombs that we can't use, so that's fun. <laughs> Did I... wait. Down, I went up. I did fight this boss. Someone in chat said it's almost impossible for Ridley to have it. That's why that's probably the case. <laughs> it's almost impossible for yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I am nowhere near ready to fight Ridley. Uh, something about a soft lock, by the way, hurt. Just in case that's something. I believe that's from someone who knows you. Mm -hmm. It says Herc knows softlock. Mm, no, I'm not softlocked. Okay, good. Just making sure before you proceed further. Oh, uh, I want to go fight Ridley, but I can't. Dang it. Uh, all right, well. I think I know what to do. I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go to a point of no return. Even without high jump, I do have screw attack, so I can single wall wall jump my way back up and freeze the pirate, so. A flash cart is, uh, a cartridge that you can use on a console, and it allows you to use, to load up files using a micro, uh, micro SD card. So I believe the item is probably right here because I never checked. Um, and I just realized that. That'd be something. Uh, or this is probably bombs. Either that or I'm going right to um, Nightmare Area to do a point of no return. All right, to Nightmare it is, I guess. Fun. 
This will be interesting. That doesn't sound like fun to you, per se, at least from your tone. Uh, well, it's a soft law. I'm, gonna, I'm basically walking into an area that I'm going to lock myself into and hope that I find the thing that I need to get out. It's that or I'm out of ideas. Which... Hmm, would be unfortunate. But I believe this to be the play. Or I can go back to Sector 4 and we can try to break into Sector 6 again. I do have high jump now. Makes it actually a lot easier. Uh, I'll save right before this. Yeah, I can't. I don't have bombs yet. Um, that logic isn't uh, in the randomizer program itself yet. So, mm, I can't use uh, power bombs without the regular bombs or by picking up the uh, uh, the expansion packs. Tanks. Expan using the expansion packs makes it sound like I'm we're playing a, a Metroid Fusion card game, trading card game. Sounds like fun. It it does sound like fun. I wish they kind of would make that. Yeah, let's go party in in uh, Nightmare Area. Okay. I don't have plasma. I need plasma, gravity, and bombs. Two two items that I need are required items to finish. This is kind of interesting. Oh gosh, wait, I just realized what I'm oh no. I know what I have to do. <laughs> oh why? This is kinda silly. Please tell me that this is vanilla gravity. That would be really funny. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. If this is, if this one's an item, I think I try to cat burgle. It's not. Okay. Well. Hey, nightmare. How you doing? <laughs> Please have gravity. I'm sh Kirby, I'm sure it'll be a bombless seed, but like, I'm sure as I go to get red doors, it'll just be like, here's bombs. Like, oh, thanks. I have to do low percent strats here to fight uh, Nightmare. This will be inter an interesting fight. I'll get to use strats that I developed for uh, the oil spill speedrun. So I'm intentionally stopping it lower so that way I can hit flare shots more easily. Um, and the flare does additional damage to, uh, to Nightmare. So the flare is the little like uh, semicircle that uh, is fired at the bottom of the arm cannon. Oops. Uh, and that deals, uh, God, I believe nine extra damage. So it's not a whole lot, but in this grand scope of things, it actually speeds the fight up just a little bit. Just like that. So this needs to be gravity or I'm trapped. Fun fact. And I'm scared. Yeah, I'll be stuck. At, I'll be trapped in the uh, the trash pile. Ooh. Also, it's okay to be scared. Almost every store in the uh, states right now is selling Halloween stuff. Oh goodness! Are you talking about like the spirit Halloween stores? 
Why? Why? I just, I feel pain. Oh, hurt. My heart hurts. So Y'all should give Herc a follow so there is no pain. Please go do that. Herc is uh, wonderful. I wanted to do that play so long ago, too. Why didn't I just go do it? <laughs> oh, man. That's so rude. I can't wait for hardest or uh, worst room in the game to just be like another power bomb tank, even though I want it to be like plasma. All right, I just I literally just need plasma, and this is a plasma hunt to, uh, at this point to finish. It's probably in sector six, if I had to guess. Shout outs to the vanilla. Is this game even randomized? Oh no. Go ahead and fill chat with that. We get that every so often on, you know, a show about randomizers and random games. <laughs> I can only imagine. Everyone enjoys seeing the pain. It's the best part of these. And there's no shame in admitting that. It's just, it is what it is. It's a spicy play. All right, so I've opened red doors. I've now unlocked every color of door because in, uh, in this, the higher level locks being unlocked unlocks all the ones below it. Um, the only thing about that is that um if this is split security which i'm unsure whether or not it is um if for all that i know it might not even be split security um or it, it might be split security and i'm just assuming that it isn't that means that split security will only open the red doors and i have to go unlock each individual color uh, um individually we got there, eventually. All right, so no bombs. Um, yeah, if this is a bombless seed, that'd be pretty sick. Because bombs are technically not required to finish. And if I could show that off, that'd be pretty awesome. All right, fingers crossed for the no bomberinos. Also, well, actually, I'm also kind of curious whether or not it could be in sector four. This would be interesting as well. Mystery settings of the best settings. I know, right? Okay, I've got a way out. Oh, I can't actually go this way. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we'll save the animals. I meant to last time. You say now. that, Herc, but now I don't know if I can believe you after last time. Listen, Sky, I say a lot of things, okay? I, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes me saying new things will make the old things like that were in my brain just disappear. So that's kind of what happened last time. We will go up and check animals. We will see how they're doing. And let them loose. Fun fact, I learned that you can soft lock at animals by releasing them. I found that out the hard way. If you press, if you press the uh, a button to close the purple like dialogue that comes across the screen at a specific frame, um, Samus will just continue to look to the left and not actually look back to the right. So you're just permanently stuck looking to the left. Well, not that way. Can't go in that room. Hmm, where can I go? I can go this way. This would be interesting, because that means I have to clip. 
Plasma. Nope. Dang, dude. I said I'd have to, I could go that way. Just realized I have no bombs, no way in. Well. Uh, it cannot work on the Japanese version. Or else I would be playing the Japanese version and doing hard mode. Because that would be lots of fun. Xbox fight, please no. I am under-equipped, but now that you mention it, let me stock up just in case. Well, the interesting thing that I can think of is that I could go fight Yakuza and um, actually a couple bosses like Natori that could potentially have plasma. If Natori has plasma and <laughs> gravity is on nightmare, like that's ridiculous. I question everything that I know about the sea at that point. I'm afraid to go in that door. I don't, it, I need to confirm that it's uh, not split security. <laughs> Because if I walk in there without having green doors unlocked, I'm soft locked. Okay, good. Ooh. All right. We're in there, sort of. But now the question is, is this an item? Yo, you bet it's not. Sector six was not the play, huh? That's actually upsetting. Dang. Well. Hmm. I guess we just go in cat jam. All right. I'm what if? Oh, this would be All right, I'm mega cursed. What if it's the? Oh no. What if it's the speed booster item? in uh, Sector 6. The incredibly tough one to get. Aim, thank you. Um, It's not you saw yellow doors open in five. You know, you're right, I did, but I just kind of blocked that out. Oh, you know what? I can't do this because I'm missing the main ingredient of getting there, bombs. <laughs> it's just a little important. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, just kind of slightly. Hey, you know what? Let's uh, let's go free the animals, actually. Freeing the animals, I think, is the right play. I I have a feeling plasma will be up there. Bring the animals is always the right play, unless it loses the bid war for charity. True. Is there any money on the line here? I don't think so. I mean, okay. technically, it's up to you as the runner, but I'm just giving my personal opinion. No, I, yeah, I, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I'm curious if I should just go to sector four somehow some way i'd have to go in through lower but well that's not a way i can go no bombs uh, again what the heck i keep forgetting i can't get the item up here because no bombs oh no hopefully this is nothing please be nothing thank you All right, do your worst, game. <laughs> Watch this. Be if this is plasma, I'd like <laughs> I'd just be like, sweet, we could leave. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I said we would, and I will do it. We will. Sh we will set the animals free. You ran past the door. Dude, you're free! Why are you running past an open door? Are you blaming the animals now, Herc? 
He, uh... <laughs> I, I'm shocked that with with an open door, the animal was just like, nah. You cannot use uh, power bombs without regular bombs. It's just a weird quirk in the, uh, with the game. Let's see. Uh, how much damage do I do with these? Well, we're gonna go... Actually, you know what? I don't have to worry about Matori with my, uh... Because I've got Charge. Hooray! Wait. I have Power Bombs, but... Oh, it does do this. Very good. I have my way of accessing Yakuza. If anything is here, I'm not gonna be happy. I, like, pl Plasma, like, please be here, but also don't at the same time. There's so many things wrong if Plasma is here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go fight Yakuza. Why not? Wait. Can I fight Yakuza? Yes. Wait. Yes. And I'm, I'm legitimately just trying to make, like, in my brain, figure out, do I need bombs to get out of anywhere down here? And my, my brain says no, so I, and I trust that. Okay. Nope. Come on. Open up. There we go. Uh oh. This, this boss is so spooky. Ow. <laughs> nice shot. Show that junk who's boss. Oops. Please. One will do it. Lame. Where, oh, where is Plasma Beam? This is going to be very awkward, actually, because this is my first trip down to Lower Sector 2. Uh, I'm going to save, actually. There is so much that could go wrong here. This is not an arachnid. It only has six legs. Correct. And that's not... You know, chat? There are times that I'm glad that I do what I do. Only a few times. stay hydrated I could find plasma I can give it a shot yeah everybody stay hydrated if you have water near you please be sure to take a drink all right let's Oh man, uh, sector five, five maybe, uh, hmm. 
No, I can't. I can't even access five. Wait. Three. Three, three, three. Three is where I need to go. You can't get to Cyrus without bomb schoolers. Uh, that's where I should have gone, is sector four, where I thought I should go. Uh, I should still go there, actually. After I check these items. Have I been down there? I Oh, I haven't even been anywhere in this area. Mainly, oh, what am I, is that wave? Durr? What am I doing? I, I There's so many instances where I'm just like, oh yeah, I can totally go do this. And I'm like, oh wait, I I have the item to make this my life easier. I can't imagine it being, da like anything being down here. There's no way, right? Yeah, I can access sector four through sector six or uh, sector four through lower sector four. So I can go back down and around and use screw attack to get out. And that's where I'm going, as it turns out. Cool. Yeah, the background music gets kind of stuck occasionally. Fastest way to four through here. I guess just going right to it. How does fusion randomizer work? It takes away all of the uh, plot. Um, and again, like I've said before, everyone thinks that this game is so linear that the uh, randomizer wouldn't work too well. The game is actually designed extremely well. Um, like the the layout of this the station is, is extremely well designed um and without the plot and everything else and being able, able to pick up whatever you want when you want it just lends itself very well to a randomizer yeah having a good map is a lot more important than linearity can confirm I missed. All right. Hey, you know what I should check? How about the thing that I didn't check before? If it's in here, my goodness. No, it's not in here, thank goodness. Let's go access uh, Sector 4. I'll save before I leave, actually, just in case. A lot of popular misguided delusion, uh, deluded opinions. Hard agree, Curb. Hard agree. Hundo fundo this seed. Fun fact, you can't actually get 100%. The highest percentage you can get is 98%, and the reason being is because Power bombs, uh, the main power bombs and uh, ice beam are added into the pool. And the reason that that's the case is they are uh, checks that you cannot make otherwise. So, um, for example, ice beam is at the very end of the game. And, um, is not technically a check, but by adding it into the pool, a space needs to become available for it so that it can be checked. Nope, not there. Um, same thing with a power bomb expansion. So you use the Sector 5 data room twice 
in the vanilla story to get uh, main power bombs and ice missiles. However, you can only get one item from the location, so another item has to be removed from the pool to allow for the second item to uh, be able to be obtained. I can't do that, dang it. Saris is not obtainable. Uh, clueless, you are absolutely right. Completely forgot about the blockchain. Oops. Mm. Okay. Well, let's not go that way because that requires bombs. Is there anything up here? I hope not, because that would require bombs. Okay, well, there's one item that I can check, the only item, and... Mm, I'm starting to run out of ideas of things to check. Like, I'm legitimately starting to run out of items. This is... I'm actually becoming concerned. Please be plasma. Okay. Uh... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Wait a sec. Don't be... No. Wait, what happened? Uh, I skipped an item because I couldn't get it earlier with no way, without a way of getting out. Also, anytime I land like that on the ground and store the spark, that's frame perfect. I think I've done it like once or twice. There's no way of getting to Natori. Um, by the way, unless I have bombs. However, there's one item in Sector 2 that I can get. Unfortunately. Yeah, right? Remember the first 15 minutes where we're like, oh yeah, everything's being handed to us. This is great. This is awful. <laughs> Everything is awful. <laughs> Plasma beam strikes again. <laughs> I love this, by the way. All right, well, here's the one item. Okay. What? Uh... Okay... Huh? Kinda lame. So, what's going through my head right now is I'm legitimately just trying to rifle through all of the locations that I have yet to check. One right now is standing out very much, and that is the, um, well, this. Okay, good. Uh, and then the check in Sector 3 at Gary. I would say at a time like this, and this is good for any randomizer, uh, make sure you check all your Spear Zero checks because there are so many times I've been playing like a multi-world and I'm like, wait, this thing I could have done right at the beginning, I forgot to do. Yeah. See, the other thing too is like, the other problem is like, there's so many things that I could have done early on with bombs, but I still don't have bombs. So I still can't like do them. So like this check right here, as well as the one in lower sector three, are like my two big checks at the moment. Oh no, oh no. Welp. 
We did it. Hmm. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> Why? Okay. Now the entire game is open. I <laughs> now it's a legitimate hunt. Was the seed cursed, or did you make the seed cursed? So the here's the thing about the seed. I couldn't access that fight until I had green doors. The only way that I could access green doors was if I went through and got red doors. So I needed to go open red doors to unlock that fight just to get bombs. And green doors requires bombs. Although I could have, I guess, technically clipped out of bounds. If we're being very technical. I could have clipped out of bounds to unlock green doors and then find that item. But my way was a little bit spicier. This is unbelievably spicy. <laughs> this is unbelievable, dude. Oh, what's up, Keys? How you doing, bud? Well, speaking of, uh... <laughs> well, then again, though, this isn't Mercy Kill, so I can't exactly. Call Keys, this do you want to do a great? Like, do you want to do a great bake off between, like a like a three way bake off between yourself, me, and uh, Sky? I can't bake. I can't bake either. I'm sure I... Keys can't. I mean, I, I, I can don't make know a no, or not, but... I make a no bake peanut butter pie, but the word is the, the words there are no bake, you know. Uh, but here's the thing, it'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I would I would not use a whole thing of vanilla in one recipe. Fair. That much I could guarantee. I but... here's the thing, I I don't know whether or not Keys can bake. I'm sure that he'll be like he probably does on like his off days or something. But it'd be it'd be a good time. <laughs> oh no, he said. Wait, I'm I'm eagerly waiting to see what he says here. <laughs> I mean, it's my show, Keys. You're a showrunner. I'm a showrunner. If you have something to say, and Herc is okay with that, I don't care. <laughs> Special guest by Keys are on TM. <laughs> Let's do it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, keys. Uh oh. Now where do I check? Listen, keys, I know you don't take off days. Where do I check? Oh wait, there's up here. Getting bombs this late, yeah. it really messes me up. Herc, you can relate to this, I'm sure. What are off days? I'm exactly of the same mind of keys around here. Streamers yeah. and off days? I mean, we try. We try, you know, because it's good for you, but... Yeah. That, that doesn't always work all the time. Yeah, no. I've attempted to take off days, especially, like, with, you know, having to, like, like study days and stuff like that for, um, like, work and whatever, just to, like, take, like, tests and stuff like that. But even then, that doesn't even feel like a, a day of like, relaxation. But, yeah, no, it's, like, I can what? definitely relate. Herc, what would you bake? Like, now, now I have questions about this. I don't know. Cupcakes? A cake? I don't know. A cake seems so ambitious, though. A cake? I mean, it depends on the type of cake. Yeah, I guess I've been watching those shows too much where they make, like, the two-tiered cakes and it takes them, like, four hours to do. Could, okay, wait, could, let, how about this? Instead of doing a competition, let's try to, our best to work together to try and cobble together, like, a three-tier cake. Oh, but, her. <laughs> that's, that's just going too far at this point, in my opinion. Okay, fine. Two layers. Two tiers, layers, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Hercules cake fries. <laughs> Dude, I do got that cake, though. 
I just, I'm trying to think about, I mean, I have made dense breads before, like beer breads and that kind of thing. I've done that, but I can't think of anything else other than no bakes that I've made. I make a pretty mean, like, I don't know, hamburger. I, th I imagine it's the same thing. I don't think a hamburger's a cake, Kirk, although we're going to get back into that discussion again. I'm not trying to, but what I'm saying is, like, I've spent some time in the kitchen. I've spent minimal time in the kitchen. I can do it, but I cannot guarantee that anything that comes out of there is going to be edible. Oth is usually oh. the cook here. Oth is a Absolutely. good cook. Absolutely. I'm like, ter uh, listen, I'm, I'm not great in the kitchen, but I'm getting, I'm trying to get better. Like, I'm trying. But like, and like I've I've learned that I can make like even with experimenting like with different like uh, seasonings like I I like burger seasonings and stuff like that I can make a good burger with a good seasoning. I, I'm ha I'm proud of that. So like I, I'm ma I'm t making steps. However, like the whole baking thing, I feel like it's like it's a, a an entirely different league of its own. Oh, here we go again. Pizza cake, cheeseburger cake. Those are not Come cakes, y'all. No. You see, we took the lid off of Pandora's box again. I apologize. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> I see Keys has vanished. We, we scared Keys around off. It's all that cake talk. <laughs> Although, like, a dessert lasagna. That, that could be good. That could be quite good. I wonder if anyone's ever done that. Something that, that like, instead of pasta, you use, like, bread and crust and things like that. But then, then we're just back at some kind of cake pastry thing, right? I believe they call that a pie, Sky. Oh. Eh, not, not entirely what I'm thinking of. I think That's it'd be fair. closer to a pastry, I think. Oh, okay. Like a, like a, a mini pie? Like a, like a cupcake pie? No, 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 I'm thinking like, I'm like, the first layer's dough, and then you, like, the second layer, you could do like a, a hazelnut spread or something like that, and then you put more dough, and then, then you put another layer, and you put maybe like, I don't know, whipped cream or something, and then I, I don't know what folks bake nowadays. These are just things that are coming out of my head right now. You're thinking <laughs> big picture, and I appreciate that. That actually does sound very good. Taste it toast. In a way, I mean... <laughs> oh god, of course, the, the is cereal soup thing, we've come full circle. Well, at this point we're just trying to find our, uh, the last major item. It's probably locked behind Xbox again, if I had to guess. So let's do this. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, is this even gonna reach? I don't think it will. Oh, Tiramisu, thank you. Somebody, I, cause that was, that was, I was really having to think about that for a second. Oh, yeah. Tiramisu is fantastic. I, I don't think I've ever had it, but I've seen it before. It's really good. That is an incredibly tough trick that I just pulled off first try. That I'm, I'm glad that I was able to do that first try. That is really dumb. I think I can get out of here, right? Richard says I need to eat tiramisu now. It's amazing, apparently. And this was all in oh, caps. <laughs> it's really good. Maybe I will. Although I nowadays... Back. If I want to get or order any kind of pastry, they're going to insist on pumpkin spice, and I don't want pumpkin spice everything. I don't mind well, it, like, once in a while, but I don't want every single thing I have to be flavored like pumpkin spice, you know? I mean, that it, tis the season for pumpkin. I, Which, yeah. speaking of, yeah. my fiancé actually baked, like, a pumpkin roll, like, kind of like a cinnamon roll, but, like, oh. pumpkin-flavored yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real good. It's 
stuff I like just, that I can tolerate. When everything is flavored like pumpkin spice, though, it just gets a little old, you know? No, I've oh, never absolutely. had tiramisu, and again, that's, I'm sure that's something YouTube's gonna talk about. <laughs> is there no music playing? Like the game? Uh, let me see for yeah. a sec. Because we're not cat jamming. Nope, I'm just hearing sound effects on my end from my feed. Huh. Well, no, no cat jam, I guess. I, you know what? It, I, after this, I gotta go to Sector 2, because Sector 2 probably has what I need. Yup. I would guess that that's the case. This could be vanilla, vanilla. Oh God, even after all that vanilla extract talk last time, the, the vanilla <laughs> is, is seeped into this drum. The callback. <laughs> I will Good. say though, if you like pie, not, nothing is, in my opinion, there's no better pie than peanut butter pie. Maybe French silk pie, but peanut butter pie is definitely like so good. Peanut butter pie? What? You've never had peanut butter pie, Herc, really? No, is that a southern thing? No, because the first time I had it was when I lived in the north. Really? I've never heard of that. You've never heard of peanut butter pie? Like, no. Ever. Oh, when I make it, it's like, you know, peanut butter foundation and stuff. Do you just, like, well, you dump have... an entire bottle of, like, Jiffy in there or whatever no, it's called? Uh, no, 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 no. You make, like, some kind of, like, chocolate peanut butter mixture. Oh, and then okay. A little bit of whipped cream. So and then it's on Nutella. the top. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not hazelnut. And then on top, okay. you put like that chocolate shell stuff, like you put on ice cream. That's my, my no bake peanut butter pie. It's oh, okay. really good. Huh. Especially the chocolate shell. Just a little drizzle of that chocolate shell on top goes a long way for flavor. Mm. So good. I gotta make some. It's been a while. Uh, Hershey pie, mud pie. Yep, somebody brought that up in chat. Yep. Costco makes a peanut butter cheesecake that is really good. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna have to drive back to Costco after this. <laughs> right after you had your, what was I've it, already... uh, chicken bake or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to make a ride back. Costco tiramisu is really good. A lot of Costco like food is really good. That's what I hear. I don't have one of those near me, unfortunately. You live in a mountain, don't you? Yeah, I live on top of a mountain. That's correct. So we don't have a lot of that fancy wholesale club stuff near us. So you're the Grinch? No. Is that no. what I'm hearing? No. <laughs> Did I say I disliked Christmas? No. No, but you live on top of a mountain. I mean, it's pretty high up, yeah. 3,000 <laughs> something plus feet above sea level, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have any of those fancy Costco's or stuff. Every if it's not where I live, it's like two hours away. Dang, that's yeah. unfortunate. Oh yeah, especially if you get like a hankering for something and you don't have it near you, it is the worst feeling. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna have to drive all the way out there. But it, like, if it's worth it, then like, it's not even. It doesn't even matter. Now, I do have an Ikea two hours from me, and they make the best cinnamon rolls. I normally do not have cinnamon rolls, like I don't actively seek it. If I'm near an Ikea, I gotta go get me some cinnamon rolls. They're so good. Yeah, cinnamon rolls are legit really good. All right, chat. Let's find out if we're gonna have a double vanilla situation. Oops. So here's the thing about this. We'll talk about like rich food and stuff, but like when we actually get the food in front of us, we'll take like two bites and be like, nah, I'm good after that. Like that's that's the way it always goes, you know? What food? Just like any kind of like rich dessert food, I take like two bites and I'm like done. Uh -oh. like, like I need like yeah. bite-sized desserts. You ever go, you know, speaking of wholesalers, back up north when I went to go get like desserts from there, they had like these super tiny like 
tiny, tiny pieces of cheesecake, but they'd all be different flavors and they'd all be in like a circle thing. And it was Ooh, just, that it was actually really good. Really good. Yeah, there was like, a, there was something for everybody and you only had to have like one little sliver at a time and it wasn't like too much, you know? That's what I like. I like sampling little tiny bites of desserts. That actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm not a big like dessert person per se. Like that's definitely my fiance. She loves like different kinds of desserts and I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'll have it occasionally. But, Depends like, on what day of the week you catch me on. Yeah, I'm very much the same <laughs> way, for sure. But like, at the same time, it's just like, you know, if it's a little sampler kind of thing, then like that's even better. Because then it's just like, ooh, I definitely like that. I did, you know, if I get in the mood, I definitely want to have that. Oh yeah, I think the reason why I'm gravitating so much towards dessert because you know it's fall, Halloween's almost here. So you know we're all thinking of something a little sweeter usually, right? Usually, like yeah. chocolate. Yeah. We we're talking about baking and whatnot. I know we're we're gonna get um we're gonna get the comments back on this on YouTube and it's all gonna be food related. And I'll be like, what happened with this episode of Random Number Generation? I'm like, oh yeah, it's just me and her Listen, talking. You you got me on the program and usually I like whenever a conversation this honestly happens on my stream where it just evolves into like food talk for some reason. <laughs> I've had to put the casual e like the social eating tag on my uh, on my streams because like we talk about food like way too often and I don't know why. <laughs> but again, those samplers, sam those that is the key to moderation. Just get something with a lot of like different samplers and have like one sampler a day that you look forward to. It bubbles out. It's nice. So this is a plasma hunt. <laughs> yeah, try I kind of figured. <laughs> gotta try to figure a way to transition back into talking about the game, but at this point, I don't know. I feel like everybody's having a good time. You know, yeah. that's all that matters to me. I always tell people. Same. It's not always about the game on my show. Sometimes it's oh, just yeah. about whatever we happen to talk about. Uh, yeah, this is very much reminiscent of like, just chilling in my chat. We're just big chilling right now as we look for plasma yeah everybody does eat can agree man i'm running out of checks this is um if it's uh, on ceres this will be this will be unfortunate because i well i'm not mercy killing the run I know we're getting close to hour and a half. Like, don't worry about yeah. that. Like, this is, it's not the other show. It's not my show tomorrow. So don't, don't worry about that. Fair. Very fair. <laughs> the scene was cursed and turned into food. You know what? I'm all for that. <laughs> scene was cursed and I love, yeah, I love, that's a good comment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, what else are we gonna talk about while Herc's looking for a needle in a haystack, you know? Like, might as well get a little interactive here with the chat. Dude, absolutely. I'm all for it. Usually with my stream, it's like, I could be, like, the, the approach that I take, it's like, yeah, I could take this, like, super seriously and, like, go for, like, a really good time. But, like, if I wanted to do that, I could just do that offline, like, yeah. Usually, like, it's, you know, people came to be, like, slightly, you know, entertained in a way and, you know, in some aspects. So I kind of, like, prioritize, you know, like, some, like, you know, having a good time over, like, being super laser focused on, like, I have to get a world record time. No, and I want to make it clear, too, to be on, to be on my GDQ Hot Fix shows, you don't have to be any kind of world record holder, you know in contention for world record etc we're just we're here to have a good time talk about games oh, talk yeah. about food evidently that's that's like my second most popular topic now on here um that's what it's about you know i always tell people you want to go watch the more like super refined runs there's the main event gdq of odds for that there's flame frame fatal stuff for that this the hot fix here and what i do on my particular shows just a big chill session because you don't get to hear the runner talk that much right like you'll you'll hear maybe some jargon about the game and things like that but to actually get to know the runner 
and just have a big chill session. That's that's what you can expect from any show that I'm hosting. Mm. I think Herc's still having a good time. Don't worry about Herc, y'all. <laughs> Or maybe oh. not. Maybe I spoke oh. too soon. Oh, man. It was right there the whole time, and I went backwards through Sector 2. Didn't I tell you to look out for just that type of scenario? You did, but, like, it made sense to me to go backwards. I I told you to watch out for that stuff. I'm even more upset that this wasn't a bombless seed. I needed to get bombs, but... This seed is like, I needed to get, okay, so the, to get bombs, I needed to unlock red doors or clip out of bounds, which I can possibly do to unlock green doors without bombs. And then I needed to fight at a uh, box, get bombs, and then use bombs to, to get uh, plasma. That, like, in the super early location, that is just, like, the logic there is so convoluted. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> that this is what Herc gets for not saving the animals in the first seed. Yeah, I agree. Oh snap. Uh, please don't do this to me. Why am I not getting this? Hello. <laughs> like on the one frame that the SAX was some, was unfrozen, it shot an ice beam. <laughs> That's impressive. It had one shot, one opportunity, and it <laughs> fired one ice beam shot. Herc, would you like to walk us through what you're thinking right now? Uh, man. This, uh, I'm gonna be having a talk with Ivan, I think. Saying that oh? this is better than your average seed. This is like this is probably spicier than the first one. If I had to guess. Didn't you ask for spice? I did. But to, so whose to fault is this it? was average. This is the average comes nowhere close to this. Y'all, if you did enjoy this evening, by the way, while we're on the uh, countdown timer here, please do not forget to follow Hercules Bench Press. For those of you watching on Twitter, that's twitch.tv slash Hercules Bench Press on YouTube. Also, if you are watching, twitch.tv slash Hercules Bench Press. Uh, and of course, you all are watching live right now on Twitch. So please give Herc a follow. Y'all are getting scammed. Why? Wait, what makes you I... say that? Oh, because I am a huge scammer. No. I have a, I have a scam emote. How could I not be a scammer? Are you saving the animals? Hang on, I, I need to speak for chat here. You saving the animals? I did save the animals. Okay. Yeah, I saved them like a while ago. Okay, so that was what we saw a while ago, right? Yes. Just double checking it. The scam, the, the scam was I didn't save them the first time by accident. There's the scam. Also, like the use of scam has just been like, it's, I don't even know when it or how it started, but it just became like a thing. And I'm like, okay, I guess, I guess this is a thing. Oh God, I thought I had the stun lock. Oh, uh, uh, please stop. Omega, please. Don't do this. Thank you. <laughs> that was close. Uh, just a little bit hurt. Uh, time is coming up. And time. 135.40. There you go, Herc. Nice. That's not so bad. I mean, that's... 
it's on the higher end of the uh, the spectrum for for times for rando. But like the, considering the hoops that I had to jump through just to get some of these items, like it's that is like much like spicier than I've had in a, a good while. <laughs> So, Herc, is there any other shoutouts you want to do? Any other thoughts that you would like to share regarding this randomizer? Yeah, uh, big shoutouts to uh, Kazudo for making this possible. Shoutouts to literally all of the Fusion community um, for, you know, making it as fun as it is to play and, like, do races constantly. Um, if you enjoyed this at all, um, don't, and you know, you follow me, that's great. We have a tournament that's going on right now, um, and I can drop the link because I've got it up on one of these screens somewhere. Um, to the bracket. We have a tournament that's literally just getting started that's being hosted over on Speed Gaming. Um, I would heavily encourage that you uh, take a look, have, you know, watch a match or two and definitely follow all those runners that you see on there. They are fantastic. Um, they're all really, really skilled, really good runners. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, uh, thank you for having me, Sky. This has been a blast. Of course. And uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. This was fun. I think everybody enjoyed themselves as well. Hopefully, uh, if we do this again, we'll, we can have like Kazuto uh, either racing or on commentary, um, and we could do like a bit of a race uh, with, uh, you know, two people or two or three, who knows. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll definitely look into that for the future. So before we are done this evening with Random Number Generation, uh, remember that Random Number Generation and GDQ Optics is brought to you by viewers like you. Your subs, gift subs, Amazon Prime subs, and bits shared on the GDQ Twitch channel help support our weekly hotfix content. Thank you so much for supporting our shows. If you are watching on YouTube, come check out our Highlights channel by searching GDQ Some of Best Segments on YouTube. From there, you can see highlights of our hotfix shows. GDQ Hotfix is looking for more shows. If you are over 18, live in the U.S. and would like to be a showrunner for Games Done Quick, email hotfix at gamesdonequick.com with your idea. You can check out our Twitter for more information and ask questions. Again, that is hotfix at gamesdonequick.com. Tomorrow, I will be back here for Mercy Kill, and we are going to be doing some rusty Kaizo SMW mods that'll be third wall running and Amethyst Rocks on commentaries. So if you enjoy Kaizo SMW mods, you'll definitely want to be here tomorrow. And immediately after that will be, as always, the wonderful never before seen. The program content starts at 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow with Mercy Kill. And with that, I am Skybills for GDQ Hot. Thanks. I'll see you all tomorrow for Mercy Kill. Have a good evening, everyone.